And we are live. How's it going, guys? Hello. Hello. Oh, great. Hello. Whoa. So good. So much energy. That's good. Um, I can't wait to die. Yeah, do you guys remember what's going on? I'm dying. Uh, well, you don't know that you're down yet. You walked into this room. Uh, I'm, I've died already. I'm dead. This is the second time you've seen this room, but it's a, it's a new foe here. We got this guy. He's a, he's a cutie. Check him, check him out. I, Elnark, have never seen this room before. You, Keith, have seen him, though. Who is Keith? I'm Elnark. That's true. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, eight hours of roleplay. That's what we're doing today, right? Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay. Um, My mom's going to be here on that time. Yeah, just, did you make a character for her yet? No. Oh. Well, that's okay. We we can work on it while we're playing. We'll make her a character. Is your, is your aunt going to play too? I'll be here too. Good, good, good. Um, so I made a mistake last week. I was getting one of the rules. Me. Yeah, I, I, I CC'd you and it, it, I thought it was going to be a critical failure. It was just a failure because it was the incapacitation trait to put you to sleep. And you corrected me. You get a hero point, Malik. Hey. A mistake was not giving you a hero point. Um, so. Now you have four, so let's. Perfect. So roll when I go down, I get I could spend four instead of three to get back <laughs> yeah. up. Things. You get to lose more. Um, Perfect. I should have rolled them. I don't think I've rolled them yet. You, yeah, you guys have a lot of hero points. You should use them. You only need one for the uh, to revive yourself. That's uh, not true. You said you have to spend all of them to get back up. Isn't that the rule? Correct. So you should use all of them except for one. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you need at least one to revive yourself. Trying to remember how I rolled them again. I hear go draw hero action. Stay in the fight. Play the start of your turn. Allies. More important than that, I need you to roll for initiative. Oh, frick. Oh, frick, bah. How does oh. re-rolling them work? Again, I can't remember. You can see that. I can't see that. Yep. Is it 30 initiative? It's fine. I got a terrible roll. <laughs> um, what, what were you saying, Malik? So how do I trade them? Do uh, I have to pay anything? to, Like, how do I redraw? Uh... You can't redraw them. You can use it and just give yourself another hero point. Oh, uh, okay. Basically, but trading is giving them to another player. That's what I'd rather you do. I don't know. But, like, hero points, these are just suggestions. We can just do the rule of cool. Like, look at what these are. It's It'll be about the same amount of strength if you want to do rule of cool. That's mostly what I'm... I want to use them as a, as a benchmark. Yeah, mine are kind of lame right now. They're yeah, not very so, helpful. So they can do whatever you want them to do, as long as it's not, like, totally game-breaking for just one hero point, you know? Yeah. So those are just ideas for you. I um, instantly killed this boss, spend the one hero point. Thanks. <laughs> Who said it was a boss? It does I, nothing because there's no boss in the room. I <laughs> I instantly <laughs> killed this kind old gentleman who's just asking for directions yeah yeah okay well you saw i'm the boss i'm the villain you really are well you saw i'd like to attack the fish <laughs> need to put down the villain <laughs> the real villain was the party all along the uh, real villain were the friends we made along the way. <laughs> basically. <laughs> <laughs> well, the game gets unpaused, and you saw the initiative. This guy is going to go first. Rot row. Rot row, Raggy. Um, hmm. 
the the ghostly figure is just gonna stare at uh Efluria. Can I, I can never remember your characters' names because they're all the same. Makes it so easy. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, lure. Lure or something. Um, uh, it points at a Florian and right. will. Uh, I you, don't want to deal with save. Nope. You feel a, a, a shadow come over your mind. It whispers, Ooh, "This place. Shadow come. <laughs> this place is not for you." Um. I. Uh, who is it for? Care to elaborate? Uh, Maybe I do... know them, you know? Maybe I can help them get over here. They do not elaborate. Um, do you know what they do? They attack. They make you frightened, one, because you feel intimidated by that. You really feel Wait, like... Wait, I don't, I don't uh, roll a will save? No, no will save? Uh, your will is your uh, will DC plus 10, which is 18. This guy intimidated you for higher than 18. Uh, but, uh -huh. but not yeah. 28. Um, so, uh, and then it just keeps staring at you. That's all it does. That's scary. This guy uh, comes up and he's gonna sniff you and go, me! Run back away. Why didn't he say anything to this guy? Is uh, this for him? I wouldn't worry about it. Huh. Well, you don't know that. Maybe, uh. maybe, maybe he whispered to everyone. So frightened one gives me like minus one like fucking everything, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you tried not being so scared, maybe? I look back at my allies and I'm like, it, it sounds like this place is not for us. Should we leave? I'm kind of scared. They didn't hear it, by the way. Only you did. Okay, but I told them that. Yeah. yeah. Scared of what? <laughs> I not to be afraid of in here. Oh, okay. Are we fighting this or are we Close the door. Away? Wait, uh, wait, 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 um, uh, I guess we, we have to fight this because they told us to clear the floor, motherfucker. Alright. <laughs> I'm, I'm posting up. Why do you run just straight in? <laughs> so that you guys can, the back line is safe, you're both ranged characters. Kind just of. so you know, I will be hitting you as well. Oh god. Keep that in mind. You will be taking one or two damage. A little chip damage every time. Excellent. And I, uh, I, 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 no, that's not what I wanted to do, sorry. I, um, and I do this. Okay. Good turn from Afluria. You, you feel this fear come over you, you rush in, try slapping this, this ghostly figure and miss completely. Uh, junk shot, what do you do? The only thing to fear is fear itself. I run in. <laughs> <laughs> I take my 10 paces I then point my gun giving it a nice feint as I twirl it with my deception check that's <laughs> not good <laughs> uh, you I'm off guard that. against melee attacks yeah until the end of your next turn Oh, and ranged attacks. Oh, God. Well, that's fun. Uh, well, nothing to do it like to do it. I shoot. Uh, both shots at the same time. There's absolutely no way. <laughs> Critical. Like, so rigged. Critical failure. Give me the... Give me that thumbs down button. Oh, oopsie. Give me some damage roll on yourself, please. That was, uh, hold on. Which, that was my spoon. No, it was my knife one. Oh God. You hit yourself instead of the target. Okay. Um, so I do 12 to him and I do, yeah, this one, 11 to myself. You uh, stupid two. goblin, you're supposed to shoot the enemy. But don't forget, you also I did. do two to Malik. Yeah, I did a lot of damage to us there. I also do two to this guy. 
Uh, is he, he is... in five? Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah. We'll hit him. Yeah, bud. You hit yourself? Um, yeah, I did. Okay. I Excellent. guess I should have pressed the module. Excellent turn. Uh, Thank you. That was it, right? Yeah, you fainted and then you shoot. Oh, I need to end turn. Sorry, I forgot. Nice one. Charlie, Maine, you have wounded one. What are you gonna do? Uh oh, that thing's gonna really do accurate. something we haven't done before. Seeing a Fluria rush in and knowing that she, uh, she needs the extra help, I haste the Fluria. I protect oh. you guys. New strats just dropped. Oh my gosh. Haste. That's this crazy. This new patch is so cool. I love this update. I'm so fast. Does that mean I get an extra turn? You get an extra action. Like an extra action, yeah. Okay. You can only strike and stride with it. Let's go. You get an extra action. That is my turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, because you ran up and tried to hit it, it's gonna have to try to hit you. Oh, thank God, missed. Insane. Critical miss. Critical miss. An idiot. Yeah, this isn't even a worry. I don't know why you're afraid. It goes and swipes its ghostly hand across you, and then it. it it's continuing the follow through and swipes across itself instead. Um, what an idiot. Who would hit themselves? Yeah. And deal some damage. Uh, oh. Ends up dealing no damage to itself. Uh, he's gonna try it again. And this time, he will hit a flurry of four. 11 damage, and uh, I'm gonna need. Oh yeah. I will save. No, no, no. A fortitude save. Uh, uh, click the button okay. in chat for me. Oh yeah, sorry. I was gonna have to roll it for my thing. Critical success, you loser! Critical success. Get fricked, nerd. Unfortunately, nothing happens with a critical success. Uh, God damn it, man! But you don't. Nothing bad happens to you. So that's good, right? I guess that's all right. And, uh... And he's gonna run over here. Right there. This little... Little dude's gonna run up. It's a junk shot. No. He's gonna give it. He a doesn't little... get advantage on me. I'm not little... off guard for him. Uh. Oh yeah. Uh, well, it still hits. Um. I'm gonna do twelve damage to you. Are you kidding me? Twelve. Twelve. Anyway, if Luria, you have four actions. One of them has to be a strike or a stride. Oh wait, I just did 12. One of them is a stride. I don't think I did. Okay, you have two actions left. Wait, no, I have three actions left because I used the one extra one as a stride, right? Uh, well, that movement you just did was two actions. Oh? You went 25 feet. Oh, this character can only move 20? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, okay, I got up here then. And I do a ranged attack. Oh. What not a streak, crit. not a crit. A 19 not crit. Nice. <laughs> I wonder what that means. Oh, impulse junction. 
And then uh, that soon? I just throw a water <laughs> blast at him, and then I put up... No. Are you going to move him? Yeah, I pull him toward me. And then okay. I put a hydraulic deflection again. Okay. Uh, that haste, how long does it last? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> one minute. Okay. Joke, did that guy bug you at all? He's bugging, bro. <laughs> Get him. He's bugging. <laughs> uh, but Junk Shot, it's your turn. Um, I'm gonna take a guarded step back and reload both of my spoon guns. <laughs> End my turn. Awesome. I lost vision of the big one. Well, we'll let the fish handle that. She's quick. <laughs> I target the little guy. She's 33% faster. Mission melee. I'll blast them. That makes me sad. And Charlie is sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ghostly figure raises his hand once more to Fleur. Leave now. I don't know what's down there. Uh, and it hits the flurry, yeah. But he doesn't respond to us, like he won't talk to us. He just talked he just, to you. Yeah, but when I talked to him, he just, he just ignored me. Uh, he's gonna do eight damage to you, and uh, I'm gonna need four to save. Critical success. You're fine. Once again. You're totally fine. Uh, it goes to strike you again and says, Oh. Misses because of your hydraulic deflection. Perfect. Missed by one. But he says, I can't protect you down there. Um, and he's just gonna keep hitting you. Oh, critically missing on his last attack. Um, I don't think this matters, but uh, it so can I try deafened. and him? Like, we don't need your protection. We just need to make sure this floor is safe. Uh, it deafened itself, so it definitely oh, can't hear you now. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, this guy is just. It goes me and flies away. Gloria. <sighs> Can't hear me. <laughs> but he also attacks everyone who comes into this room, so. You don't know that. Maybe he's just attacking you. He likes everyone else. I want to beat some sense into him. That's good. Another not crit. Nice. I smack him with like a big hammer of water. I'm like, get your shit together, guy. And I apply a, apply a hydraulic deflection. Uh, if you have an extra action stuff, <laughs> by the way. Oh, what? Okay, um... You're still... It's for 10 rounds. I heal myself for 19. Um... When you go to do that... Uh, the ghostly figure... Uh... Takes an attack of opportunity and swipes through you, but misses. It's not a spell. But it is a manipulate action. Uh, 
Oh. Oh. Junk shot. It's okay, he missed. Uh, um. No longer off guard at all. I'm gonna take my step up. Uh. Sorry, Afleria. Don't Sorry come in your what? way. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for shrapnel. Wait, that's the do this. I did what was that? That was slashing. This one is bludgeoning, okay. Twenty two damage. 22 damage and uh Mala, can you do four damage to yourself? Yeah. That's uh, sorry about that. I still have ownership of Charlie Main by the way. Alright well. Not anymore. Charlie. I would like to, uh, to sense motive on this guy. Okay. Um, How do I roll? Sense motive, that will be, uh, how are you trying to sense it? Most likely it's just perception. Gotcha, I'll just do this. Why does the Malik privately roll some dice? Oh no, it says I do, I can't fucking read. Okay. Well, you be wrong, they don't know what's exactly intended to what Magic might be affecting it. Um, yeah. This thing, well, you know it's undead some, of some sort, some sort of ghost creature, right? Um, you know it's really just... It doesn't necessarily want to kill you, but it's defending something. Like, it, you can tell it wouldn't attack you if you left this room. Mm. Yeah, I, I think... I mean, I, I'm the only one who can hear it, right? So. Well, you're the only one that has heard it. Yeah. But Charlie's very perceptive. Figured that out. You got two actions. All right, well, I attack with the team. <laughs> I tell the team, he's not trying to chase us down. He's protecting something. But Well, let's take his treasure. Okay. <laughs> you threw a flashing gust of flame whips through the air and just, uh, you know, maybe it hits this tomb right in front flash of flame right in front of uh right by Afluria. uh as this ghostly figure strikes and misses Afluria again says away the knowledge it's 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 not anything you want to know um this time it looks at charlie uh charlie man says Uh, oh, Charlie and Junkshot, actually both of you hear it this time, um, as it says, The knowledge you seek, it, it should be buried. Uh, yeah, it's just gonna, it's just gonna attack. We'll be the judge of that. Takes a step back away from... Uh, the little guy peeks out from the corner and sees you guys are still there. He goes, eep, and then and flies back to the corner. Sorry, four actions. How long does haste last? A minute. Oh my <laughs> gosh. This it's, is so good. This is really good. <sighs> Uh, 
I could shoot and reload. <laughs> it's good for Mr. It, 20 land speed of Luria, or Mrs. Uh, he... Demsis. Demsis. He, when he shoots, the shrapnel's like everything adjacent, right? Uh, five feet? Yeah. So as long as you are a square away, you will not get hit by my shrapnel. Okay. Um... I also have to reload this turn. I won't okay. be shooting. I, I actually I step right here. So they still have clear line of sight. I'm not blocking their uh, path. Yep. And then I strike and I miss. Um. <laughs> I apply hydraulic deflection. All right. Perfect. Return. Jump Puzzle. shot. Oh, it's four after that. Nice. I reload. And I reload again. <laughs> I take a step over to here so I can get a better view of what's going on. Yeah, because around the corner, you'd probably still have some cover. But now mm -hmm. you're good. And I end my turn. If that information is worth burying, we'll burn it. Oh. But so, you'll burn as well. <laughs> <laughs> next, next time. Everything burns. <laughs>
succeeding this time, naturally. Oh god, he's off guard. He doesn't see it coming. Oh god, he doesn't see it coming. There's a knife coming right at him! And a spoon! <laughs> no. Kerblam. Kerblam. That's awful. I almost did as much damage to Malik as I did to him. You do see you have a range penalty. Yeah, I see that. But that would have been a crit. Yeah, I I see that. I end my turn. Uh, Malik takes four damage. How far away am I? About 40 feet. I stepped up, it probably would have been fine. And it moves in. And it attempts to flashing gust and finally hits one time this fight. <laughs> Does nine damage. Nine fire damage. Yeah. Super effective. It is not. <laughs> He's dead instantly. Because the light from the fire is, um, it makes the shadowy figure dis disappear. Um, it does not. <laughs> well, I disagree. <laughs> Comes across, going behind a flurry and says, I died here. You will too. Oh uh, my god, this is more dig. And he hits a flurry <laughs> for 14 damage. Uh, and I'm going to need fortitude save. Can't wait for you to fail. <laughs> it's a pretty easy save. He failed. Yeah. Pretty easy. Um, Attack of opportunity hit him, Malik. Malik doesn't have this. Come on, man. Yeah. You're in the front line. You need to trip him when he runs away. Uh -huh. Flies over. To, uh, the statue is not there, by the way. The statue was taken down uh, by someone. I can see it right there. <laughs> Floria. <laughs> Why is my team always this? I don't think it, I don't think it's armor like is that an high. He has an insane AC, like an absolutely ridiculous AC. You rolled a 14. Well, I fucking rolled a 30, and it wasn't a crit. Like that was a 19. That's like I can only roll a 31. Like my no, highest roll possible anymore. is a 31. I could have crit with a 31. Yes, I have can't hear you. Crazy AC. Uh, that was your turn? I can hear you now. That's okay. Yes, that was my turn. Hmm. I take aim, pointing my my gun, and I reload it. <laughs> oh, <the button. laughs> Let me load a spoon real quick. And a knife. Oh. Um, is there anything else I could do in this time? Not really. What's this do? Um. It doesn't help unless you guys have will spells for the most part. I know what I can do. I'm gonna stare him dead in the eye. Oh. And say. All your knowledge will belong to us. As we burn your home down. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. And I end my turn. Yeah, he's scared. Yeah, he is. This dude's frightened. Charlemagne steps into him, oh. lighting his hands, ready to f make him feel the burn. And he misses. Oh, but you know what? He's scared. It hits. You know what? 
he can do. Mm. He can make an attack of opportunity on you. That's cool. Uh, but he chooses not to because I'm so hot. And he's so scared. Yeah, you know what? He's he's scared. He chooses not to. But he is going nice. to strike you. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Basically took an attack of opportunity. Oh, for 22 damage. And Sweet. I need you to make a fortitude save. This one. We're oh. good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Failed. That's pretty good. You become no, not good. drained. Hmm. Oh. It drained me again. <laughs> The shadow cum is draining you. <laughs> Near death after one attack. Oh. Uh, as it strikes and steals a part of your soul. Uh, you... I can't shoot now. <laughs> it says. Stop now, please. I don't want to kill you. Uh... It seems like you do. I don't believe you anymore. <laughs> I guess they strike and miss a Fluria. Um, and it ends its turn. It says, I end my turn. Um, a Fluria, what do you do? Oh, that's a good question. Get ready for the spoon gun coming in. This time it's gonna be a crit for sure. <laughs> My team's the worst. <laughs> Take a guarded step back. Nice. You do? Does it make an attack of opportunity against you? No, it doesn't. And it's his guarded step? I hope not. Oh, no, uh, yeah, you took a five foot step. Okay. Uh, is that your turn? Uh, <sighs> well, only one thing to do at a time like this. <laughs> Gotta twirl your pistol. <laughs> That's my third one today! <laughs> oh my god! Dude. The dice are rigged! Who made these dice? I don't even need it. I don't oh. even need it. I don't even need it. Alright. That's critical damage. For. I hit harder not critting. At least he's stunned if he fails the DC. Okay, so that eight is on him. Yeah. And that was the slashing. Oh, it's triple damage. I drop my weapon. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Why would they do that? Well, damage. Let's do a fortitude save. It's a twenty-one. Oh my God. I'm so crap. You know what's cool though? What? It's stunned. Is he dead? He's stunned one, and not um, dead. Did he take twelve damage instead of eight? Yes. Okay, my gun is dropped. I don't. I don't know which one it is. I'm just gonna drop one. That's fine. I end my turn. <laughs> that freaking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> what an awful effect. <laughs> you gotta pick it up and reload it. Yeah, I mean, luckily I'm. I can't really shoot anyway, so. <laughs> Charlie. Early learning his lesson from stepping forward, steps back. <laughs> he says, don't miss. 
<laughs> it is sad. Steps forward. Goes, reaches out to a Fluria. Misses. And says, uh, now to all of you, not inside your heads, it, uh, sound emanates from the cloth. As you hear. The, the knowledge of the library. There's, if you must. It's, it's, it's hidden. The, the, what's her name? <laughs> um. <laughs> the stream can see where I was scrolling over to. Um. <laughs> the head archivist, she's, she's hidden it, but it bears the secrets. Um, and uh, it disappears. No. I dropped my gun for that. <laughs> uh, the little guy goes, uh, flies up to the center of the room, goes, meep, meep. Realizing uh, it has no defenses against you now. Starts flying away. Um, I guess, are you guys going to go chase it? Yeah, I'm gonna kill that idiot. <laughs> okay. Floria, four actions. This is the thing that l licked me or something when I was on the ground, right? Yeah, yeah, it bit you. Piece of crap. Yeah, so. Yeah. Oh. Well then. And I pull it five feet. If it's. Five feet? That's how much I can pull, I think, yeah. Yeah, okay. And you end your turn? No, I have one more action. And you end your turn. Now I end my turn, yep. Why is my... Why does it say my gun's loaded? Didn't I just shoot it? I'm pretty sure I just shot my gun. It says it's loaded, though, for some reason. Um... You gotta pick I up the other am... gun. What was that? You gotta pick up your gun, right? I don't have to. Oh, I guess so. I'm going to use my Rancontur's reload since I only have one gun in hand and demoralize this idiot. Oh? Um, I don't know which gun it is. Oh, it says equipped. Okay, perfect. It's already loaded. Well... For some loaded. reason, it says it's loaded. Um, I'm going to just do a demoralize roll. Yeah, well, we'll say this is what loaded it. It's, it's not scared. <laughs> Alright, whatever. And then I'll twirl my pistol. Oh? Painting him. Successfully. And I will shoot. Wait. You say wait? Yeah, now you can shoot. And then I will shoot. Oh, baby. Critically hitting for 26 damage. <laughs> Why couldn't I do that against the other guy? <laughs> and it's bludgeoning damage, which will do normal damage, and then clumsy one, and must succeed a reflex or drop one of the- what? What are these effects, man? <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, those uh, are three actions. And it has to make a fortitude save? 
or become stunned one. That's not stunned. God, this thing's a freaking beast. Charlie. Oh, not me. You said it. Like, why do I have to make it? No, I'm just saying it's your turn. <sighs> okay. We do the flashing gust and try to hit for once in our fucking lives, and we hit. Let's go. Let's go. Send him. Leo, what do you have to say about this combat? Ow. Uh, you do 10 damage. Ow. It is off guard. Uh, not anymore. It's gonna run up. Uh, drunk shot hit it, right? Yeah, I hit him. Yeah. So did a Floria. Oh, it's gonna try to punch you and miss. It's gonna try to punch a Floria and miss. And then you can see just complete fear fall over it as it becomes frightened, knowing it's probably gonna die here. Floria, what do you do? Pin him down. Let's question him. Pin him down. <laughs> Make him do things he doesn't want to do. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. There's, <laughs> wait there's a minute. word for that. What? Uh, he doesn't want to spell the information. Yeah. yeah. We don't know that. Alright, I, uh. I, I control my water and I wrap it around him. Or I make like giant gauntlets of water and I pin him down. Okay, uh, let me see. Are you you're trying to grab it? Yep. Uh, 28. Gosh. How athletic is this guy? Um, I'm kidding him. Yeah, you, yeah, you put him down. It's, uh, that's not enough to. I don't know. Yeah, it, it is. Okay. And down. Anything else? Um, Meep. Meep. No. <laughs> no, that's all you do? Uh, can I do anything while I'm holding him? Yeah. I, I, Ocean's Bomb. Spirit Bomb. Charlie. And I ocean spawn junk shot. So Let's Charlie go. Heals for 16 junk shot heals for 13. Wow, would heal me less. That's so fricked. Uh, he did that on purpose. And I yeah, he really did. Oh, sorry. Junk shot. What do you do? Uh. -huh. I'm gonna pick up my gun. And I'm gonna reload both of them. <laughs> while he's got them pinned down. And I'm gonna say, you better spill the beans before your beans get spilt. And I end my turn. I guess I right. should have done a demoralized reload and then picked up my gun. Would have been smarter. Charlie moves closer and senses motive. Oh, you determine the creature's true intention to get a solid idea of any mental and magic affecting. Okay, cat. Um. Yeah, this thing's uh, just just chilling. It's just trying to live its life here, um, and it's mostly just def defending itself. It thinks you guys are a threat. Um, these creatures uh, are interested in, in knowledge, and so they, they consume books, and they, they also eat books afterwards. Um, 
consume and eat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, they're 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 mostly peaceful, but it's it's scared by you, and when you attack the other things, it's you know it's gonna try to attack you. But uh, you know, it was just caught up in all this violence here. It's not associated with these other ghosts. It just took the opportunity to, to read some books. And eat the books. Can eat spoons is what it can eat. Oh. Uh -huh. Harley punches it. Non lethally. Uh which is fine. <laughs> uh, it doesn't actually take any damage from that. That's his turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate this game. Uh, uh, let me see. Does this thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. It it actually speaks. Uh, oh. Haldane. Nice. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, well, it hasn't. This is only. This is the first time it would speak to you. Um, okay. And it goes, me. Ah, ah. What are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? Please, don't, please don't hurt me. Please don't kill me. What, what do you want? What do you want? I, 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 I give us up. all the information you know. I surrender. <laughs> Everything. <Huh? laughs> um. And I'll give you with that sense motive. It's it's not gonna fight you anymore. So we can end this encounter. Leave it up to you guys if you think he's worth leaving breathing. Uh yeah, it's it's not gonna fight you anymore. You can keep holding it. Uh we don't have to worry about that. We know what you're doing. Where's this information the ghost was talking about? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. What, what he said there's inf He said if there's... Or what, what did he say? If there's information, it's uh, it should be buried. I don't know. I can't read. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. There's, 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 there's some dark stuff here. That's mm, it's really tasty, but I... I I don't know what, uh, why, what do you want to know? Tasty, is that how you're supposed to read? Hmm, <clears throat> they, they used really good ink. I think it's made with blood. Oh, oh. Uh. It tastes really good. Where's that at? Um, all, all of these books. All, all of them, they were... I, whoever, whoever owned this place, they... And they really like knowledge. They made so many yummy books. We should make this guy our pet and name him Salvi. <laughs> I, I, Do you want to be our pet? Be named Salvi. Yeah, I, I, I guess if if that keeps me alive. I will keep call, you Jim. alive. My name's. Back. Salvi. Salvi. It was it was Beckham. Back it was. <laughs> Which I can be Salvi. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't I don't know what 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 are you after? There's there's this I, oh I know I know something. I I I know something. Can can I show you something? You let me go. Well, you're with us. You're not going anywhere. I just, I need, I need to show you something. I, I can't show you while I'm pinned down. Please? Hmm. How about you just pull me along and you show me it? I'll keep holding you while you guide us. Okay, can, can you get your foot off my throat? <laughs> 
I don't have my phone on my throat. I have okay. big gauntlets of water that I'm holding him with. Oh, okay. Uh, can, can you lose? Can you make the grip? water into a leash? <laughs> can you lose any grip rope? a little bit? <laughs> Did anyone have any rope? Mm. This is what Let me check looks my like up close if you haven't seen or we don't remember. I've got rope. This is I, ugly as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I can't move at all. Please. Big ol' eyes. We'll wrangle him. Give him a little, little tie down so he can't fly away. Okay. I'll use my uh, crafting skill to tie a nice knot. Okay. Yeah. You, you tie it around. Mm -hmm. You got a little, you put a little uh, leash, collar and leash around this guy. Mm -hmm. All right. Show us where it is. This. Okay. And uh, it, it tugs on the leash. Uh, oh, um, in uh, what is the, yeah, in this dire direction. Which direction? This direction. This way? <laughs> yeah, that way. Okay. It says, "Oh, over here. I saw. Um, I can, I can go in and and get some things for you if you'll let me go. No, nope. there's things to open this wall. Up. I can't. I don't nope. know how to. I don't know how to open it, but I can. If you, if you'll trust me, I can. No. Nope. I can change forms and I can pass through this wall. Nope. I want to try and see if there's a way for us to open it." Don't trust you. Uh, a twenty-eight. Let me see if twenty-eight. Let me see. Uh, no, you don't see a way. How small is it? Is what? The opening that he's going into. I don't know. It's. I, I, if you, if you allow me, if you trust me, I can, I can shed my skin and 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 no trust. Shed your skin. Well, I, I'll, I shed this form and I, I can, I'll, I'll become incorporeal. I can, I can pass through this wall. No trust. Can we try breaking the wall? Can we like punch it with a bunch of water? Collapses. Is there any like hidden switches? Can we do the general perception again? You can try. Oh, wow. Mm. I, I find uh, the hatch. I don't think Natty 20s do anything on perception checks, but you know, I'll give it to you. Yeah, there's um. That's fricked. I'm My not... Natty 19 didn't do anything. <laughs> uh. God. Get out of here. It, it's trying to swat at Charlie because there's stuff swirling around him. <laughs> it's trying to it's kill cool. you. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I'm just going to give it to you with the, the knowledge that he's saying that there's something behind this wall. Uh, that's enough. You guys uh, can see that there is a, a hidden passageway here. Um, this thing wasn't aware of it. It just saw the, the ghost passing through it. Um, but there's a door, um, and you guys, with your combined perception, are able to, to see in. Oh, oh, you you found it. Yeah. Okay. See, I, I wasn't lying. I wasn't lying. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to get away. I'm Salvi. This, this is me now. I'm Salvi. <laughs> I'm Salvi. I'm, I'm your pet. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting into it. <laughs> uh, in... Here, uh, you find this this hidden collection here. The walls I'm of stand this... over here and watch the door. Okay, the walls of this small room have uh, built-in shelves to the walls. Uh, is, they're made of stone, just carved into it. Uh, we're going to zoom in on the stream. Uh, 
books line the shelves to the north and south, while a stack of loose scrolls sits on the shelf to the west. Um, a single chair and a small writing desk sit in the middle of the room. There's a the largest book on the northern shelf uh, draws uh, your attention, Afluria. It's it's like I don't know a foot wide. Like this book is huge. Uh, it's not bound. Uh, like the others, you can see it's like kind of hand woven binding. Um, uh, do you, I, I suppose, do you pull it out? It stands out a lot. Um, yeah, you pull it out. The earth starts to just kidding. Uh, <laughs> walls cave in, you all die. Um, I'm not in the room. <laughs> okay, everyone, the junk shot dies. Uh, Oh. New characters. Um, on, Salvi. Yeah, Salvi dies. We just got him back after all this time. This is the first Salvi. This is in the past. Oh, true. Uh, you open up this book, and uh, you lay it down on the table. It's so heavy you can't even like hold it and and read it at the same time. You have to put it down on the table to open it up and read it. Um. Fighting my own demon here. Um, you open it up. Uh, Charlie, you, when he opens this up, this is a handwritten, it's like a journal. Um, handwritten. Charlie, you can't read it at all. You don't know what the script is at all. It looks almost demonic. But Afluria, you can read it. Hell yeah, I can. It's so big, it's so heavy, so dense. Like, whoever wrote this was, like, really trying to get get some mileage out of this thing this the writing is very small um it, it it'll take you some time to to parse this and find any um good knowledge of it um but uh i can i can let you read that if you if you want to take the time I, yeah. just yeah okay um charlie you see him looking or see her looking through that and realize you're not going to get anything from it so you start looking through some other things uh you find on the the western shelf the stack of loose papers and scrolls uh with lots of information about um gauntlet the the mechanisms and machinations of this place uh you you just see the titles on some of these scrolls and you see some diagrams um ab about uh, the lighthouse and some of the floors you can tell it's uh it's about this place specifically but of course you can't read it you do however um you're, you're smart enough you, you have four intelligence you're smart enough uh you know this is the same language that uh Fleur is reading right now so you, you hand those over to her just put them on the side of that that table there um charlie if you uh I don't know if Larry keeps reading this uh, junk shot. Are you just gonna keep watch still? Yeah. Okay. Uh, junk shot's keeping watch. So, Charlie, if you keep digging through, looking for other stuff, you find some other good things here. You find uh, a folder. Yeah, looking through it. Um, this one has even more diagrams. Uh, it was just kind of hidden between two books, like it was supposed to be kept extra secret. Um, and this. Uh, has some diagrams uh, related to some rooms. I believe you guys have been in them. I assume on the first two floors, you guys have just scanned every floor. I don't remember what these characters have seen exactly, but um, and you find uh, these runes, these circles. These you realize from reading this you you know a little bit of magic you're a sorcerer so you don't really get your knowledge that way but uh you know enough about magic that these are teleportation circles oh went out to you on the um you saw these in the on the second floor that's the the kitchen where there was that shrine and the dead body you found uh, in between that and um the swamp you guys remember there's that room with all the circles on the ground in the carved into the stone mm -hmm. that is a teleportation circle that's interesting 
And there does this is, tell me how to use those? It does. There is a one hour ritual. Your first ritual spell, uh, new mechanic, takes uh, typically takes multiple people to cast a ritual. Um, and some, often reagents as well. Um, and they take a long time. This one takes one hour. And you can use this circle to teleport to other uh, teleportation circles uh, throughout Gauntlet. Um, and it has uh, the ritual in there. So now you can use these portals. Um, you know, if you fail the ritual, uh, you'll, you'll face some backlash, uh, which, uh, I'm just gonna send this to you guys. Send. Send. Is it not sending? What is going on here? Oh, well, I'll show you this spell later, but, uh, you become stupefied and a critical failure. Uh, will spawn a creature from from the void to attack you. So you don't want to critically fail. Um, a critical success will open both sides of the portal. A single uh, regular success just opens this the one portal you are at and not opens the other side. So you can't actually use it with just a success. The, the ritual just opens the portal. Um, so you find that. And you, you're sharing this knowledge to everyone. Um, yeah. And you also find, on the southern shelf, this book stands out to you. Uh, <laughs> so the skull, it is, uh, equal size to the, the journal that Fleury is reading through right now. It is quite large. It is called The Whispering Reads. The magical book describes uh, different encounters, different uh, different times people have encountered one of the outer gods, the outer goddess Nimbaloth, goddess of death. Each encounter left physical or mental scars. You can see this wasn't written here, but there's lots of annotations, you know, there's the sticky notes highlighter, you know, of uh, notes on the side, uh, written in the, the same handwriting as the journal. Uh, you tell it's, uh, there's lots of writing and you, you detect the pattern of Anywhere it describes Nimbaloth as an eater of ghosts. There's there's more writing there. Any reference to Nimbaloth being an eater of ghosts, consumer of souls. There's there's lots of notes highlighting around those passages. Um Yeah, if you look through there's uh all sorts of really important books. These ones stand out the most to you, but You can tell there's also all these scrolls related to Gauntlet. All related to the Keep and the Lighthouse. And all these books. There's some related to other gods. Uh, some related to the, the history of Otari. Some related to the creation of this this island itself, the Isle of Kortos. Um, but probably the most important here are these uh, four finds you just made. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Salvi sitting here, uh, drooling over Floria's shoulder, like, mm -hmm, this one, this one looks really good. Can, can I have it once you're done? Please, please. Oh. Your... So Salvi just keeps saying that over and over uh, while you're, uh, while you're reading. Uh, Charlie, you eventually get bored. You, you find all these books, but Floria is just consumed reading this book, or this, this journal. Uh, you know, you don't know how to read, so you get bored of these books. Um, 
but you just pass down the important ones, set them on the table for Ifleria to get to um, later. Uh, what what do you do? You go over to Junk. Oh. I go to Junk and I say, uh, there's a lot of words in there that uh, I, I can't pronounce. Uh, do you trust this fish to do the reading? Well, somebody's got to watch the door in case somebody follows us in. I can do some uh, of the reading if you need. Sure, I'll, I'll keep an eye on the door. That's probably right. a better idea. Let me take a peek. Uh, you can't read that language either. <laughs> it's over. We have to rely on the fish. <laughs> well... <laughs> I read that book too. Yeah. So, Flair, you're going to take some time uh, to read these books. Um, and you'd probably tell them, like, it's there's so much information here. It's going to take, you know, 8 to 12 hours to, to get through it all. But, like. Jesus. Can I just, know? like, store the books, like, the, the important ones? And then. Because we're on a time limit right now, right? So I don't have time to. Sure. But I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. Um, the first couple things, um, this, this journal you're reading is, uh, clearly by, uh, uh, this, this lady you keep hearing about, the, the ruler, the, whoever took over Gauntlet, um, the same person that's, uh, created this library and probably, uh, you know, weaponized Gauntlet, Belkara, this name keeps coming up, um, so, you know, her personal journal is going to be very important. There's lots of information in here, uh, but, it'll, you know, it'll take some time to, to read through it. Um, you can try to store it for now, hide it in this room if you think you can come back here later. Up to you. You know, like, to get the real knowledge, it'll take some time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put it in my bag. For now. Okay. Uh, all of them? Um, like, all the ones by Belkara? Are these all by Belkara? I thought it was just like a couple of them that stood out. Like, three the, of them. The four, there's four books. Four books. Yeah, I put all four in my bag. Or four pieces of information. Okay. Yeah. Um, so these uh, look really important. We'll have to come back and uh, I'll have to read these later. It'll take me uh, half a day maybe to to really parse through all this information. But since we're on a timer right now, we should uh, finish clearing out this floor. Uh, I treat wounds. Who has Salvi's leash? I do. Okay. I fail to treat wounds on myself. <laughs> I try to treat wounds on Charlie. Charlie's no longer drained. I failed to treat wounds on Charlie. Treat my wounds. <laughs> and you better succeed. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> the one the one person who needs it at least. Let's go. Well, you just healed yourself. I didn't mean to. It just does it automatically. It doesn't apply it to the target, it applies it to myself. It's stupid. Well, there's a button underneath it, right? You see junk shot yeah, and then damage heal. I clicked it, it didn't work. The heal button? No, it didn't do anything. And then I clicked the apply healing and then it did it to myself. Because you were targeting yourself? Or you just had yourself selected? Um, okay, so the only thing I'll point out that, that uh, ghost, your ghost friend said the head archivist is, is hiding some knowledge. That was knowledge that was hidden. That's true. Uh, but you guys had an encounter with her. It, your your intuition tells you that is um, the lady in that room that you blockaded off. Mm. And there's another wall she was going through. Yeah. So you think that's... I don't think we can beat her. To. You want to try to burn her bones? 
I know that's what you want to do, Charlie Ming. <laughs> I really like the idea of burning. Things. But looking at you two, you're pretty beat up. I don't think we want to go in there anytime soon. Ooh, we we have, yeah, we have to clear the floor though. Who huh? has to be safe? Let's keep going. The spooky lady. Spooky lady. Does she, does she have books? Yeah. She wants she to make them. Ink. I like I like books. I, I can we, I can should help. we look over here first and go to head archivist last? Uh, that just goes down. Oh, okay. All right. I guess there's just I one more thing to deal with before yeah, we are able this, to. Right? Yeah, everything Living except for room. the everything except for the archivist room. Well, not quite. I guess technically we haven't gone through all the caves system too it looks like there's uh there's there was no other there there's no other immediate threats but there are three other npcs so there, there's four total npcs you've met oh that's right there's the ghost in this room there's the, there's the ghost there's, there's the, the creepy lady guy who wanted us to kill 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 mm -hmm. And then there's the ghost lady. Is and there there's the jailer as well. And there's the jailer, yeah. Oh, he's fine, though. He's not going that anywhere. That boy, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, those are oh, things out. on this we've, floor. We've mapped out all the threats, I guess. Well, yeah. So, like, there, there's now only one room you haven't been in. Really? Uh, well, no, there's... There's also the two rooms by um, Doriana in that long hallway that sh you went in and then closed the door and ran away. Oh yeah, the spooky lights. Spooky lights, yeah, you ran away from those. Uh, but other than those, you've pretty much done every single room. Hmm. And then this hidden room that you haven't been into by the, the archivist. Well... I guess we wait, lick our wounds, and take on the archivist, right? I don't know what else we can do at this point. Maybe we can lay a trap for her. How do you trap a ghost? I figured you'd know about that. Uh... No. So he tugs on his uh, leash to go um, over to the stack of books and starts uh, reading. Mm. What you reading? Oh, um, just some some history books. What's the history about? There seems to be a lot of history here. Hmm. These seem to be related to the pre-Starfall days. Hmm. Very, very old history. Uh, pre prehistoric. Hmm. Well, it's, it's not prehistoric if it's history. Well, you know. <laughs> well, whatever, whatever we know. Um, and he's, he's reading through all these. He, you know, picks them up and says, ah, I already know this, and then puts it back. Uh, but you, you can tell he reads very fast. He's like flying through these pages. Hmm. Does he not eat the book? He puts it back? Yeah. Hmm. Why didn't you eat that one? Oh, I'm, I'm not hungry right now. Hmm. Maybe you can read the ones of Flurry I took. Yeah. What do you think of Floria? We keep him Might from eating try the to book. Eat him, though. Oh, I I don't know how to read those. They do oh. look tasty though. You oh. take a lick of that, and I'm shooting you. Oh. oh. <laughs> and it just cowers at your feet. Good boy. <laughs> 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 Who says threat threats and violence doesn't get you anywhere? 
Well, I, do, I just, I just want to read, I swear. You can keep reading. Okay, hey, yeah, he goes and picks up some more books. Shall we go back and talk to what's his name and see if this is sufficient? Carmen. Uh. Mr. Yeah. Rajani. Mr. Rajani. Mr. Rigatoni. We'll just head on uh, this way, I guess. Oh, I wonder if this tells you. Okay, uh, with the the teleportation book, or the, the folder of teleportation notes, uh, you guys do discover there's one on most floors here. Um, Charlie, when you're reading through it, you didn't know. You couldn't really tell based on the descriptions where the ones in the floors you haven't been to are. Uh, but you do know the one on this floor is uh, uh, by uh, that swirly room, swirly light room. The painful room. Yeah, it's the on hurt the room. on the the western wall. It's right uh, it's right here. Oh. There's a there's on a hidden, the wall or oh, okay. There's a hidden door leading to the teleportation circle. And then, of course, you know where it was on the first two floors as well. So what are you guys going to do? I can't oh, go back, back to that. Yeah, I can't go back there. I have to stay separate. What? <laughs> um, we got murdered. I'm, I'm kill on site, yeah. Because he actively chooses to say things that upsets them. He chose to take it poorly. We have I was clear. just offering a help. You coming, Charlie? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. I'm gonna um, start reading these books, and you guys can find me in this room over here. I point down here, and I go in there. Um, and Salvi says, uh, can, can I stay here and keep reading? Hmm. Fine. I give the leash to a Fleuria. I... He comes with me over here, yeah. I'm just reading over here while they're gone. Okay. Alright. I just start reading through one of the four books. <laughs> That's too far. Yeah. Okay, while you guys are trying to navigate, um, uh, yeah, so there's a teleportation book. There's a blueprints on Gauntlet. You take a second to look through those. Um, what information they give you? Um, you realize those you could probably read faster. Um, Okay, never mind. Uh, it's also going to take some time. Uh, but you can tell it's gives some information about the different floors as well as uh, why Gauntlet was built in the first place um, as you're reading through it. These are all in your inventory, by the way. Um, okay. Are we level six? Mm, no. Darn. <laughs> um okay uh that guy's reading you guys uh walking over down here and uh yeah carmen sees you uh dorian has awake now she's just standing there in the on the side of the room uh arms crossed and she's tapping her foot uh carmen walks up to you guys and says ah uh, how you guys doing uh, you, you look a little beat up Looking at Charlie. Feeling fine. Oh, yeah, I'm hurt. 
Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, Buck, why don't you why don't you give him some first aid? Here, come on, take take a seat. Oh, I forgot. I'm not supposed to say that. Um. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, and this this guy starts patching you up. You're in a flower bed. You're in a planter right now. Obviously. The, the, these guys are standing in planters. Those aren't. Those aren't. Oh. There's a seat. There's a. You know, right here, right here. Pro probably the one on the right. Yeah. Yeah. Buck, Buck's gonna start patching you up. Um, well, that one's not Buck. This one was Buck. Oh, uh, they're, they're all Buck. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, might have been wrong. It might have been this one. I don't remember now. I'm pretty sure it was this guy. Because he was badly... Yeah, no, it was this one. He's badly injured. Oh, yeah. Um, he's, he's You gotta awesome. let the guy who's injured do your medicine? <laughs> he can't even fix himself up. <laughs> he is the most experienced. Um, <laughs> uh, Carmen says, so, the job done? <laughs> We've mapped everything out. <laughs> All the threats have really been eliminated at this point. Well, you said the threats. You're supposed to clear the floor, right? It's... Yeah, anything that'll attack you is dead. Hmm. All right. Well, this news, uh, I think we can send the party up to establish, establish this place. Uh, we get, a, get some supplies. Get a supply chain coming. If we can... We've cleared out the roads in the meantime. I think we should be able to safely... Um, yeah, we should have a safe path here. Thank you guys so much. Thank yeah, you. let me just mark the map of things that have banished creatures that... As long as you don't avoid, won't be an issue. As long as I don't avoid them? Or as long as you <laughs> do avoid, sorry. As long as you don't engage with them, it won't... They won't harass you at all. Yeah. Okay. Well, wh what are they? We got the jailer thing. I don't know what he is, but he doesn't leave his room. He's scared of everything. And we got the little boy who likes to jump on the bed. He's dead. But he's also alive. But he just likes to eat dead bodies. So I think he's good to have around. Mm -hmm. Okay. And... And then you've got eternal employment. But you don't get paid for it, so I'm just gonna avoid that room. And there's one more. Where... Where's the last one? Oh yeah. Eh, and then there's a ghost who's just busy working. She just wants to be left alone, I think. I haven't seen her do anything but work. Also, she can't work. She can't touch anything. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, sounds, sounds like hell. Yeah, well, you're in Gotline Keep. Well, uh, thank you for, for mapping this out. Are, are, are you sure they w these aren't threats? Even uh, well, this... Uh... Whoa. Uh, even this, uh, this guy... You said the the eats dead bodies? How do you know he won't turn on us? Well, as long as you're not a dead body, I don't think he'll turn on you. As long as you're not a dead body, you're a dick. <laughs> hmm. Well, Buck here is kind of a dick. He points to uh, this Buck. Um, says, all right. Uh, well, let's feed him then. <laughs> Uh, I forget what do you know what this guy promised you as a reward? Eternal riches and a million health. I don't know if he said that. I think he was, they were just gonna help us, um, <clears throat> uh, help us clear the keep, and they're gonna call reinforcements or something. Ah, uh, yes, you can clear this floor to be able to get more people here this uh little army yeah and then they could uh yeah so 
uh, he says, you know, thank you for drawing that. Uh, we'll be able to... That's the swirly death spot. That's, that's why it's marked. Yeah. We'll be able to get more people here, make this this floor safe. We'll be able to get supplies to you. We've got a, we've got a dealer that's getting stuff from Absalom, even. Uh, still we'll be able to get you more stuff now. Um... Says, uh, you you guys want to make make an order? Got a guy making runs to Absalom right now. Should be here uh, by tomorrow. Ah, uh, we might need something. Probably need some supplies. Potions yeah, I are he running said low. He was gonna help us get to the next floor or something. Yeah. Uh, well, they're gonna establish this floor first. Yeah, so we can They're advancing find the... one floor, but yeah, they, these guys are on a mission to destroy, you know, the keep because it keeps sending undead to the town. Um, so Dorian and Carmen, for sure, they're trying to go down further, but for now they want to, you know, they're playing it safe because so many people have gone down and died. They want to, you know, make sure they've got numbers. Mm. Um, but. It says uh, they they can send a messenger raven out, get supplies, add to the order if you have anything you guys want to buy. Are you buying for us, or do we gotta fork up the gold? Uh, you gotta you gotta pay <coughs> for it, but you're forking me. <coughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, we can we can get you the supplies. You gotta pay for it though. Um, I'm good. So you don't have to buy right now. Just so you know, they can get you stuff. We're gonna need more potions. I know that for sure. Yeah, I think our guy should be here uh, noon tomorrow. It's still not even noon today. Uh, we've been on this day for like four sessions. Um, it's a big day. <laughs> it's been three hours so in game. Oh, uh, I just lost connection on my laptop. Uh oh. Um, there's a th thank you so much. Heck, my internet just went down. <laughs> Laptop, I don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's okay. We still have, we have a still image of you. Okay. Um, he, uh, Is it Carmen, a good one? Yeah, it's good. Uh, Carmen uh, steps back and starts whispering to Doriana. Uh, and then they both step forward and says, "Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you." You too. We'll, uh... Uh, I, I want to ask. Did you two find any, uh... Did you guys learn anything? Yeah. About, about this place, I... You've seen, uh... All these, uh... All the, all the books down there. Did you learn We anything? learned that you don't want to learn knowledge, apparently. I was... <clears throat> I was told there's this this library. I, there should be important information here. Yeah, we were told by a ghost that you shouldn't learn it. Then mm. we tried to kill him. Hmm. Is that all? So you didn't learn anything? You just you just killed? Well, that's what we were told to do. Okay. So you don't tell her about the the books you just got? No. Okay. You don't trust her. Uh, well, just in case. Okay. Like, I'm there to save our town and all, but... Oh, my internet's back. Pog! There you are. Uh, <clears throat> says, hmm, okay. I'm gonna send a, a buck out there to to search through the, the library. I haven't had the... I haven't afforded the time to look through anything, but... Maybe we'll find something you, you missed. So you said it's it's safe there now, right? You can head out? I think so. We can go with you to make sure. I think, uh... Armin and I, uh... We're gonna start heading down. We've put, You're uh... heading down already? Before any reinforcements come? We're putting Buck in charge. Which one? <laughs> you know, Buck. <clears throat> uh, we're putting Buck in charge. 
we have uh, reinforcements coming already. Are you sure there isn't anything you want to add to the order? <laughs> you can add it later, but she's just saying that. Um, just, uh, we're going to head down. You can uh, join us if you wish. I think we're going to need a night's rest before we go any further down. Okay. We're heading out now. We'll see you down there. Uh, don't press too far. Hasn't been mapped yet. Oh, we know what we're doing. Uh, uh, she doesn't even look at you when she says that. Uh, they just start going down. Just the two of them. <laughs> they didn't even say which way they're going to go down. They're going to die to a wolf. Did they let us know which way they were going to go down? Uh, yes. They're going... <coughs> Whoops. Um, they're going down this way. Okay. They told you about the... Yeah, this... This room, like if... Uh, the, the room behind the... The lounge, the reading room. Mm -hmm. We're heading down on, on the, the western entrance. God, I heard all kinds of doors. <laughs> there was just one, but yeah. I uh, whispered junk. Whisper to junk. Hey, do you remember that statue in the room with the ghost? Did we ever explore that at all? Or that was destroyed, right? That wasn't there. <clears throat> okay, never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah, there was some wreckage, but yeah. I think you're just tired. You need to get some rest. Get those spells yeah, back. I need to take a nap. I need Buck here to patch you back up fully, too. Come on, Buck. Patch me up. <clears throat> Come on, Buck. They don't pay you for nothing. Uh, yeah, you will patch you back up. the all. Buck just says, uh, uh, I don't actually get paid. <laughs> are, well, are you, you don't get paid for nothing either. Don't <laughs> yeah. not get paid. Are, are, are you guys getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> Let I me teach so. you about this thing called a union. <laughs> 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 you guys are going to make them unionize? <laughs> or, against or organizing Dorana. Buck. <laughs> uh, well, she's dead, so who fucking cares? We'll organize the Bucks to be under our, our control and we'll become the union leaders that actually aren't <laughs> union leaders, but just a second company that... Just that, a gang? <laughs> yeah, we're just a gang. <laughs> Buck gang. <laughs> okay. A little, a little bit more bang for your buck. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Yeah, and you guys hear... Uh... Footsteps coming from uh, down the hallway. Plop, 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 plop. Door opens. I, uh... Some more bucks. Oh my god. We're bucked up. <laughs> so, uh... What do you guys do? I'm getting bucked. You're all bucked up. What do you do after that? Um, well, we need to rest so he can get all of the spell slots back before we're going down. But I think we should head down. Okay. Or at least prepare to head down. All of them. Are you gonna... Do you rest or go straight down? Uh, rest first. Okay. Because Charlie Main needs to rest. Okay. We need his ash clouds back. That's true. Haste is pretty good. And we need more haste. We haven't even seen your other level 3 spells, have we? Oh, I just remembered what he was going to do for me. Wasn't he going to apply weapon potency on something for us? Oh, uh, yeah, that's what it was. Because you, you have oh, a weapon uh, potency, right? Oh, yeah, I he's going to do that stuff plus for one, free, But right? I already have that. Was it the striking rune? No, you have a plus, you have a plus I think one it was striking. the striking rune. 
so that the weapon, the you... dice would do two rolls instead of one. You have a plus one like... and striking already. Hey, what did I? Maybe he just did it because I convinced him that it would be helpful. Yeah. Frick, man. You have a lot of items. Me? Yeah. I'm a goblin. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you have cool stuff. I uh, have things that I can't use, though. Was it issue. that consumable? Um, that has to be affixed to a weapon. The problem is we don't have anything to affix it to. It has to be a melee strike. Does it? Oh, it does. Well, it says you make an intimidating strike as a fighter feat. Yeah. If you're I fine guess so. with it, like I'll put it on my gun. I don't mind. Uh, I wasn't sure if that's. Yeah. I think it does. Then yeah, it's got to be melee. Um, okay. Do you guys rest? Uh, if Fluria, does a Fluria rest or does she keep reading? Um, I read like one book and then I guess I rest for the night. Okay. Do you want to read the blueprints or the journal? Um, are the blueprints for this floor or like all the it's floors? Like, like going to tell me what's on the next floor or? Let's see what it gives. Uh, yeah, it kind of depends on what I can tell from it. You learn about how the you can you can tell you're going to learn about how uh this place works like what is its function uh it's not gonna tell you it, it doesn't have like the floor plan but it'll it'll give you some information as to what's uh the functions of some of the lower floors it won't tell you what's there just the purpose of the floors really okay um what are the other three books kind of hinting at information? Uh, the one is the teleportation circles. That one, you know, you guys already have that. Charlie read that pretty quick. Uh, there's the whispering reads, which has, uh, I mean, you can read the information now. It's in your inventory. Um, has information about the god Nimbaloth, which you guys have gotten some references to now as you're, you're looking back. You remember there's been several references to this this god. That's what the shrine on the first floor is now. You remember. Some of the symbols look the same. You're putting together the pieces. Um, but then this... Uh, the main two books that's going to take some time to read and get information out of are the blueprints and then Elkara's journal. Her personal journal. So you got to pick between that and the, the blueprints for now. I will read through her journal. And then every uh, hour, I'll heal myself. <laughs> okay. No and every 10 minutes, I'll heal myself, so... Okay. So you can fully heal yourself. Uh, junk yeah, Shot and Charlie, you can uh, take your nightly rest. Um, so, Elika's journal. It's written in Aklo. Oh, and Junk Shot, you can make your new uh, stuff. Yep. You learn about Belkara's family history. She was exiled from her family. She was, uh, oh, not from her family. Their family was exiled. They become very poor, lived in poverty. Um, they're exiled from the lands here in Otari. Before it was Otari, um, they were settled here in some village. She was exiled. Um, and then she, when she was older, she returned here 
and built this this layer here the keep she she built it because she wanted to exact revenge on on the city and the people that disgraced and impoverished her family uh, the, the people that ruined her life and her childhood the last several pages of the journal document much of her work in building gone like keep and the vaults below the abomination vaults it doesn't offer specific details but it mentions the construction of these laboratories these flesh warping laboratories to create these monsters these abominations these arenas where she pitted enemies against monstrous champions for her amusement prisons torture chambers uh tunnels and, and portals to the dark lands which are uh it's like the center of the earth where monsters come from and this this great temple to um where once the empty death herself rushed against this fragile world the empty death herself being nimbaloth so there's this a temple that she built where allegedly nimbaloth uh touched and took form Valkyra's entries often speak of her minions in abstract, bragging about how many have come to serve her in creating this complex. But she only ever mentions one by name, one one of her subjects, one of her minions. Her, um, as she calls him, amusingly vain. Valak Azenre, Azene. It's her apprentice, her 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 mad scientist, her lead. Um, like her right hand man Volok he creates these abominations creates these experiments and the last entry describes how this apprentice arrived from a community of upstart and meddlesome drow below drows coming from the darklands to serve Belkara but it doesn't serve any other information about this drow community and you tie the notes this Volok as an aid this uh, there's some notes here about his laboratory, which you know is the lab, uh, on the island, up above. <coughs> mm. Um, and I don't remember, did you, did you guys explore the island? You, you saw it, but did you explore it completely? We'll say that you did. Uh, Alright, I'm trying to figure out I think I, I think the fear gem is. can be put on on ranged weapons. You looking at rules? Yeah, I, I saw it in a forum somebody thinks they can, but I can't find anything about um if it's melee or not only anywhere, like official rules. Uh let's see, does anyone I mean, technically, Vera uses melee weapons. I'm not going to give it to her. <laughs> she doesn't even play. I will... <laughs> See, what what level is it? I think it's level four. I'll let you uh, exchange it for a different one. Different level four. Talisman. Or lower, I suppose. Um, okay, let me check. You can keep going about yeah. areas we've explored. Sorry, I just I want to know. Yeah, that's fine. Unless you really like this one, uh, I don't know. Um, I do really like it, but... So the floor above, uh, there's this island with the, the workshop where you saw all the tools and the creations. Um, and... Uh, and you went upstairs above the workshop there was that, that hall of portraits and mirrors and um there was there was a portrait uh one of a lady and one of a of a man this elvish man uh And uh, if you remember, it, the plaque read, The Artist at Work. 
but you couldn't see the the portrait was shredded you could tell it, it once was there were shoulders and you could see the hair at the top but you couldn't see the face it, it was torn apart so uh a flare you're putting together pieces knowing this guy was an artist that created all these monstrosities and was um depicted a oh yeah you guys did go there because it was a flurry that learned how to dance from the little guy right yep yeah Minor okay so you guys definitely saw this place your your characters definitely saw this place yeah uh, it was your first characters that never went even went there um yeah yeah so you know this guy she's describing him in all these notes as super vain uh, almost to a fault well definitely to a fault but that made she says like that made him easier to manipulate to do what she wanted if she just said the right things or if um, uh, but you know you've never seen what he looks like there's multiple references there's a couple sketches but in, in various uh, places uh, but they were scratched out um, and the portrait you know the the face had been scratched out as well by the, these claws of some sort so you know this guy's super vain and yet you've never seen his face anywhere and uh mm -hmm. I will tell you now that the face, uh, all the other references you've heard of, you realize now these are references to Belkara, this this dark evil woman that built this place. Anywhere where they're talking about her or our master is to Belkara. The jailer, is his sentence was from uh, Belkara. She he uh, this demon serves her. The librarian she's hoping not to get punished. She needs to get these books, but she can't even touch the books in time but the books are late she needs to deliver them to Belkara and the archivist she also needs to make deliveries to Belkara so this whole floor is the Belkara's library learning how to uh, do something to take revenge all this information here you're putting together these pieces about the history of of Tari history of, of Absalom history of the island and knowing how vengeful and how evil this woman is you realize Belkara built this place to destroy Absalom. God. At first you thought, yeah, Afluria, you, you were so self-focused. You thought, you know, there's this is that's an Otari threat to, to my town down below. You realize Belkara is trying to destroy basically the world. She wants to destroy the capital city. She wants to destroy uh, the Star Stone, and she wants to take over the world. It's not just little Otari. That's just step one. She's trying to destroy everything. You realize now there's much more at stake than just your little e-village off the coast. Everything is at stake. What, what does the Fleur think this knowledge? Um... Okay, uh, she's she's shocked by the uh, discovery, and um, she wants to like let her teammates know sooner than later, um, and like really relay the severity of the situation so that you know we 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 take it seriously. I, I tell um, Vera here. <laughs> yeah. Vera, like, you won't believe it, what I found, and then she's asleep, so like it's, I, she doesn't hear me, you know. So it's kind of rough out here. Uh, you can tell Salvi. <laughs> hell Salvi, did you know about this? Oh, oh, oh my God! <laughs> this is crazy. If, if she destroys everything, where will all the books go? <laughs> Into your belly. Oh well, that's okay then. <laughs> I don't care what she does then. I'll love the ledge real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, I thought Salvi was gonna kill himself. <laughs> really, uh, really, uh, really brought brought that situation back. Um, yeah, I'm kind of shocked and and worried about my village and and Otari and the world and uh, realize we like this is this is why i was brought here this is why i had those visions <laughs> my destiny is to stop her uh and on that note i fall asleep you fall asleep 
Oh, I need to get rest. I have to get a full rest. I have trouble falling asleep, obviously. I just keep having these uh, thoughts, dark thoughts, Well, that thoughts, reading right? that took eight hours. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, now I sleep for eight hours. Okay. Um, Keaton. Yes. So, it says affixed to a weapon, and there are things that are specified affixed to a melee weapon. Ah, okay, yeah. So, I'll it. I think it'll work. Yeah, he, I also uh, don't know how to apply it. He does it for you. Um, but like, I don't know how to... Yeah, is it, it like a one-time uh, use, or is it... I don't know how talismans work. Uh, no. I believe that is... I used it. <laughs> I believe it's just attach... That's to attach it to the weapon. I just used it and it disappeared. I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna attack uh, just to test it out over here. It is a consumable. I know, but I think it's consumed because it gets applied. Yeah, usage affixed to a weapon. You, it's not added to your weapon. Okay, neither one. I would get a really good hit on on Matt's character while I'm testing. <laughs> I believe... Okay, now try shooting with your striking fearsome spoon gun. Ooh, okay, okay. I, I added it, but I don't know if this is the right thing. I just do damage. Doesn't say anything. Um... What's fearsome do? I think That's I something. think it might work, but I think it's something different, isn't it? Property rune. Fearsome PF two E. Fearsome is oh, when you crit, they become frightened one, which is That's different. not quite right. Yeah. That's much better than having to use the gem. Because it's That's much better. Because when you activate the gem, you make an intimidating strike. Oh, I just attack and it's a fear roll or demoralize roll, basically. If you oh, if you hit, you do a frightened one, two yeah, on the front crit. But you have to but you act. You have to activate it. Still. I used it. And then it didn't apply it when I shot. Hmm. You gotta learn how this works. How do we get the, um, the, uh, property runes? Where can we get those? To uh, buy them? you can buy them. Or you find them. Okay. Have someone make them. Um. Okay, so you. Them, I don't... Oh no. Okay, it is one use. Okay. It has to be applied to the weapon, and then you activate it, and it gets used up. Interesting. So yeah, I'll definitely allow you to have it then. Okay. I'll give it back to you. Thank you. Uh, so you're, oh, you're sitting cool. here, you sleep for eight hours while he's reading. <laughs> now you guys go look for him, I guess? Or her? A flurry? Yeah. Okay. You go, you find on, her, Harley. and Vera both asleep in the hallway. And uh, when you two wake up, you feel more powerful. Well, almost really? like one fifth more powerful, like you're level six. <gasps> no way. 
Uh, oh, Flurry, you unleashed a beast. Uh, Flurry, you're still asleep, so you're not level 6 yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> when you wake up, you'll be level 6. Uh, you guys get in this room. And you see Flurry and Vera both sleeping. Um, what do you do for 8 hours? Wait, didn't they sleep? Yeah, you were reading for 8 hours. That's what you said you were doing. I mean, you weren't disclosing to me that I was going to take eight hours to read one of the books. I, I thought did. it was... I did. No, no, you said it was You said it was eight, eight to twelve hours to read all four of the books. No, just one. I said that's Is why you that... had to choose between one of the two, because they would both take each eight hours. Oh, see, I wasn't uh, clear on that. I thought all of them was eight hours, so it was like two hours for one of them. But... Well, one of the teleportation thing, Charlie already read. Completely. It took like five minutes. Oh, okay. Well, it is what it is, I guess. So when they get here, you don't have to be asleep. No, I, I, I need a well. Do I need a long rest? I guess I don't need a long rest. You're full health. You I, don't have spells or yeah, anything. Yeah, I'm awake. Okay, you don't go to sleep. So, uh, one of my feet isn't in the game. Level 6, uh, Flair, I guess you can just be level 6, you don't need to sleep, whatever. Uh, what, what feat, it's probably because you're, uh, it got deleted with the remaster. But there will be an it's equivalent one. Called Glad Hand. Glad Hand still exists. I don't see it. Did you, you it just type- I'm in skill feet. Did you type it without a dash between glad and hand? I typed glad and nothing appears. It's a skill feat? It's level 2 skill feat? Yeah. No, it still exists. Is that what you want? Oh, okay, it's there now. <laughs> there, I gave it to you. Thank you. Uh, so, when you guys arrive, if Fluria tells you all the information about Belkara's past, her history, why she built this place, um, it doesn't, she doesn't know how it works, but she knows that this place was built to create an, an undead army, basically, these abominations to destroy Absalom. She's going to siege Otari. That's step one, to test out this her weapon, and then she wants to destroy Absalom. Now, you know that Belkara, now you know the history of this place. Belkara died 500 I, years ago. I'm going to reset my my sleep just because I want to wipe my items. Okay. Uh, Belkara died 500 years ago. The last time the lighthouse was activated. When Otari, uh, Otari uh, Avashti sacrificed himself with Carmen Rajani and... Uh, their ancestors, the four, the party, a four adventurers that killed her. But now things are coming back. Makes you question: Is she alive again? Did Belkara come back? Did she? Did she ever die at all? Did she ever die at all? Or is someone else carrying on her legacy? What is going on? Because you you've had no hints that she's alive. You know, all these ghosts and stuff are saying, like, oh, I gotta go do this for Belkara. But they've been doing that for 500 years. The librarian has been trying to grab these books to deliver them to Belkara for 500 years. Um, so they've just been sitting here. So is Belkara back or not? And regardless, who has taken over? What is going on and who is taking over Gauntlet? Who is trying to destroy Otari and how are they succeeding? You don't know. But someone is reactivating this place, creating these monsters, creating these undead, and they've almost completely taken over Atari. And you know now, Efloria, that there's more to the plan. It's not just Atari. They're building up. This is just stage one. There's greater threats coming soon. To uh, a theater near me? To the theater of this, the Isle of Kortos. Theater of Galarian, the entire planet, uh, Junkshot and Charlie, 
How how are you guys taking this information? Um a little shocked, but I I don't know if I believe that she's actually gone. You know, like her influence clearly persists. Even if she has died, her being is still here somehow. Okay. Carly's really questioning why. What's her motive behind all this? Hold on, I'm swapping my battery. Okay. Um, how does this affect junk shots like personal? Uh, how does this affect junk shots like personal mission though? It doesn't. He's just here to get the bag. He's here to get the bag. Okay. And and what about Charlie? You're questioning her motives. Uh, if Larry tells you like, oh, she wanted revenge. Uh, she's just a vengeful soul. Um, maybe that's not enough explanation for you. Um, yeah. but that's, that's what was written in the journal. But how does this affect, you know, you, you personally? <clears throat> does this motivate you or demotivate you from, you know, your, your mission here? Oh, it makes me feel emboldened to be a hero. It gives me more of a sense of purpose. Okay. Excellent. I want to see us roleplay that. Uh, but for now, what do you three do? Shall we follow them down? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, and Charlie, I'll make you level six. We can do our, uh, do you guys want to do your level up now? Uh, I don't, yeah, I have to go look mine up. I can't remember. <laughs> but Charlie still does not have an archetype. I don't, I can't pick one. I can oh, help you. Yeah, we can, we can, I was supposed to okay. do that. We were supposed to work on that. Because I, I bought Path Builder. Gotcha. You can become the alter ego dedication. You make yourself into a living mirror, becoming a double of someone unremarkable. Sounds like you. <laughs> um, okay, we don't, we don't have to do the level ups right now if you guys aren't ready. I was ready. I know you were ready. I have to pull mine up, but I, I have it written down. Okay. I've done mine already. I am... I, I've been waiting for this level. <laughs> you can't been, take this away from me. You've been away, well, you can take the level. There. I'm just saying, if they're not ready. Oh, okay. I don't know how to do uh, a level up. Let me find mine. Uh, uh, I'll, this I'll, is I'm the level I've been planning for. And I'm starting to think my dual wield strategy is about to fall off real heavily. <laughs> and I should have not done that. You're a sorcerer, right? Are you an elf sorcerer? Tiefling? Tiefling sorcerer? Elf. I am elf. So I have your character. Um, Level 6 is Advanced Bloodline and Terrifying Resistance. Class feat is Advanced Bloodline. Skill feat is Terrifying Resistance. Oh, so you know. You have your character. Yeah, I have the sheet. I just don't know how to put it in there. Uh, Class feat is what? Uh, Advanced Bloodline. Advanced Bloodline. There it is. Boom. And ancestry feed is what? I don't have ancestry feed. Skill feed is five. terrifying resistance. He didn't even do it. Level, uh, level five is heat wave and heat wave magical fortitude. Yeah. Terrifying resistance. What fortitude? Magical. 
Magical powers improve your body's resilience. Your proficiency rank for fortitude saves increases to expert. Oh yeah, you just you, that, that's automatic. Okay. Uh, so he waved that you got a level five. Uh, it's a reaction when uh, someone deals fire damage to you. You resist all the damage. That'll be cool. Yeah. Um, advanced bloodline. You have studied your bloodline spells to learn the secrets of its magic. You gain the advanced bloodline spell associated with your bloodline. Increase the number of focus points in your focus pool by one. And you get a spell. What spell was that? I get a spell at level six. Yeah. You get, you get a new focus spell. Oh, a new focus spell. I don't think I picked that. And terrifying resistance. Oh, uh, elemental motion is what I got. Okay. Uh, spells of those you have demoralized are less effective on you. You succeed in demoralizing creature for the next 24 hours. You gain a plus one to saving throws against that creature's spells. Um, the new focus spell, elemental what? Elemental motion. Whoa. That's pretty I cool. I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> elemental motion. That's not so does flight work like with, uh, with this? It says propel you. So I can't like fly and stay in the air, right? This would be like a fly like to a, a height. Yeah. No, you can move. You gain a fly speed. But does that mean I can stay in the air? So like if we're fighting a melee creature, I can so use this and... for one minute. But fighting in the air is more difficult. You have to uh, do a yeah, check to stay more... flying. But it, flying okay. is really strong. But it basically takes another action each turn to do it. Okay. Um, not add focus spell. Focus. Oh, put in the wrong category. That's why. There you go. Now you have the spell. Sweet. I was adding it to your your cantrips. It's two actions to activate um, elemental motion, and you get the fire one, so you gain a fly speed for a minute. So two actions to activate it, and then flying is just a big action tax, but it's like you're flying. People can't like punch you anymore. Um. And you can go over any gaps, obviously. Um, What's the ceiling height in this area? Like, are we in big rooms? Or is this like, if I'm flying, I'm fucking bonking my head? Uh, the ceilings here are probably... They're pretty big. It's like okay. 20 feet. Okay. That's not always going to be true, but on this floor, at least, they're pretty high ceilings. Okay. More room for books. All right, so Charlie can fly now. That's cool. What does uh, what does Junk Shot get? Bomb. Bomb. Yeah. Junk Shot gets bomb. That's good. And did you already make your uh things? Oh, you did, huh? Mhm. Mm you can shoot bombs now? Yeah. And uh, what does a flurry get? Um, I can create a wave of healing. Whoa. Wow. That's pretty um, good. It's a 30 foot cone, heals each creature 3d8 HP. And can um, attempt a... A save against a poison or a disease. Jesus. And, um... It also, every two levels after six, it gets another D8. That's really good. It is AoE though, and will heal everything in the cone. Yep. Be careful how you use that. But it's an overflow, so I have to re... refocus after. And you also got dodge away, another reaction. Um, I don't think it's a reaction. It is. 
Oh, it is reaction, yeah. So I have three, two, two, two reactions now. You have plus one. And if it misses, you get a free step. Okay. And intimidating glare. Good skill feat. Okay. What are you guys going to do? I think it's time we take on this archivist to find her secret room. I've got a newfound confidence in my abilities. <laughs> okay. Are we going to take her on or should we just leave her be and go the next floor? Well, we learned so much from that one secret room and we know for sure she has another. All right, if you guys insist, shall I open it up? Wait, Charlie, Charlie get over here. Are you ready for your? Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. Let me speak sweet, sweet words to her. I'm gonna speak sweet, sweet fire to her. Oh, honey, I'm home. Oh, it's locked. Can we unbarricade? Archie, shut up. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't like the knocking. Oh, okay. You move the books out of the way. The bookshelf. You open the door. Because, ah, you. you new, Chinese, get, you, get to writing. Hey, You're late. You're are late. You, are you burning to see me? Huh? Get yeah, it, I'm burning to see you. Get, get writing now. Get it, guys. You Just gotta make for this. bones. <laughs> you goblin. <laughs> Take a seat. Start writing. I can just take it? Yes, take the seat and start writing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, again. Go back! Love it! Take the seat and start writing. <laughs> Alright. Just remember who you're talking to. I start putting the chair in my oversized backpack. <laughs> What? What are you? What are you doing? Start writing. I'm taking the chair. You said take the chair, then start writing. You that guys. Is, that is what I said. Uh, hmm. Well, as you long as you ready? start writing. I'm, are we I'm ready? ready for you to start writing. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna write with fire. <laughs> Utter bones. <laughs> okay. You, um, I want to do the thing. You gonna ignite <laughs> her bones? I. I ignite her bones. She Do goes, I need ah, to roll? What, what are you doing? Um, roll for initiative. Oh god. You looked cold, honey. I'm trying to heat it up. Getting it, hot. Gets your, gets your engine purring. What? Why would you do this? Uh, <laughs> you'll, you'll pay uh, for this. No, 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 no. I got no money. If <laughs> Oh, Give me yeah, some a flurry. Initiative. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, you got it. The combat begins. She is very mad, Charlie Man. Yo, but but I she... took the first step. Oh my! No. Uh, Baby, she, what's oh, wrong? She's gonna do 20 damage to you. Oh, don't touch me like that. Let's get get away from that. And then uh, she screams. Um, Did anything happen? Uh, what do you mean? I need just everyone to make a will safe. When I burned the bones. Yeah, she screamed. She screamed? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well... Uh, oh. she, she was injured. Oh, critical failure? Um, and that one is also a failure. Um, <laughs> drug shot is slowed two. Charlie I'm is slowed so one. Bad. I can't do anything. You become overcome with sadness over your missed opportunities. I am uh, very sad. And a flare, can I get a will save? You're fine. Nice! Let's you, go! Hypno has never missed an opportunity. He emboldens 
junk rat. Junk shot. I'm junk <laughs> shot. Yeah, junk shot. Same thing. I'm not a rat. <laughs> junk shot. You have one action. Uh, I guess we'll shoot. <laughs> the gun's not loaded. <laughs> How is it not loaded? What, was it supposed to be loaded already? I'll say it. It should have been. Yeah, okay. Did you... I not have it loaded earlier? <laughs> it wasn't. You can load it. I'll say you, lo you loaded it in downtown. That's fine. I'm pretty sure I had it loaded because I threatened to shoot Salvi. That's fine. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> One action, you miss. You're no longer slow. Charlie, you have two actions. What do you do? Uh... I run out and I signal to the other two that we need to get out. What? I Sounds have a plan. <laughs> you should have told me this when I had my 10 free movement. I, I didn't think of it until it was my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly thought burning the bones would have been enough. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell no you, burning the bones did do some damage to her. Okay. Some. Uh, Floria, it is your turn. So we're running again? No, you can hit the bones and then run out. If you can, I don't <laughs> actually, the, the bones I burned. don't know. If, oh, they're gone. Oh, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. I thought that would straight up kill her. Cool. Well, why am I, good am luck, like, Floria. Why am I like, a, sorry, I... I'm like in the tile, but not in the tile. I was supposed to be right here. Um, I strike her with my cold. Fuck you, God. <laughs> you know what it is. Okay. Well, you can burn. <laughs> it's her turn again. She says, don't you run away from me. Uh, she's going to... Oh no. Yeah, no, she's still mad at you. She just runs up to you. No. And she will strike you. Oh, oh my god. My plan didn't work. <laughs> I'm do 26 damage to you. Just get Funny back no. in here. Honey, don't do me like that. <laughs> so the crit did 26 damage. Uh, and the regular hit did 21. Mm. <laughs> hey, dying work correctly. You're dying one. Um, okay. Junk shot. Mm. I am going to twirl my pistol, feinting an attack against her, working for. Sh <laughs> I'm gonna use my action to do the new thing that I've wanted to do the whole time I've played this character. Oh. And I'm gonna load a nice alchemical fire into my gun. And you never miss. And I literally never miss. Oh, it's a strike. And I want it to be evident that I enjoy burning things. So my persistent <laughs> fire damage gains a plus one status bonus. Okay. Nice. So, so I do this damage. And then another 1d6 of persistent fire damage. And, and you only, so you only shot a bomb, right? Did you shoot the bomb with a knife or something? I think it's just the bomb. Okay, because the bomb, because it's fire damage, and you have that two splash damage. Yeah. And Charlie is right next to her. I don't know if it does splash damage, because I'm not shooting spoons anymore. I don't know how Your it works. Your gun does the splash damage. My gun does this. Well, Charlie does, takes reduced fire damage. That's true. 
He has enough resistance that the splash damage does nothing to him. However, I think he is going to take 1d6 fire, persistent fire damage. Why? Is it You're going to have me do 1d6 persistent fire damage to AoE enemies? Like, I'm fine with that, if that's what you want. Is the bomb... <laughs> But my splash damage doesn't do the full damage of my gun normally. Is the bomb not doing... Or it's only it's only 1d6. It doesn't take the bomb's effect, right? It does 1d6. It, no, it doesn't. Okay. It just it just does additional damage of the okay. bomb. Then no, he gun. takes no damage then. Let's freaking go. Um, so she will take... 12 plus another 1d6 persistent fire damage plus 1. Uh, 1d6 plus 1. Let me move this. Persistent. 1d6 plus 1. Uh, what's the DC? What's your... Cost? Oh, wait. It's more than that. It's plus 2 because it gains... A status bonus to damage equal to half the spell or one quarter of the item's level, minimum one. So minimum. it's actually plus two. 1d6 plus two fire damage. That's big. And uh, what's your class DC? Level six. Yeah, I'm level six. I don't know what that means. My class DC is... I don't know where to check that. It's 10 plus... something. 14, probably. It's. I think it's... related to your dex. Um, I could... We can shoot till I crit, and then I get a DC for fortitude that they have to beat. It was 21. It might be 22 now. I'm just going to say it's 22. All right, she, uh, she's on fire. And I end my turn. Awesome. Charlie. Give me a D20. Where'd our music go? Let's play some boss music. Pog! Are you alive? I bet I can't shoot. You're alive. And unconscious. I rolls, I rolls. The Fluria. Perfectly 20 feet. I target her, and I definitely hit. Oh, oh my god! Definitely, definitely he hit. Crit. He's been critting non-stop! What a monster. Oh my god! 40 damage. 40. And she's... Second three. Jesus Christ. Second three is crazy. I don't think she can be sick though. Wait, is she is that a spell though, or is it um bludgeoning? Well, I did it has bludgeoning, but I think I chose you did cold. cold damage. Oh wait, never mind. She takes one D eight poison, sorry. Oh my god, we're dotting her up, dude. Uh, she doesn't take poison damage though, so unfortunately. God fucking <laughs> That's actually bludgeoning, because it's a, a melee hit. I don't think she can be um, sick, either. And I target Charlie, and... Um, I'll, I'll give you... Him. It's 1d8 cold damage. Charlie heals for 14. You got frostbite. Yeah, um, okay, yeah, okay, she takes 1d8. I, uh... She takes 3 fucking 3 damage. Well, what's your DC? Nineteen. It should be higher than that. Oh well, she got a lot of dots on her. Uh, you healed Charlie. Yeah, Charlie's awake. Uh, that's your turn. It's her turn. He's looking at Charlie. He's on fire. He is on fire. He's looking hotter than ever to Charlie right now. <laughs> he says, get back in here. Baby, no. Uh, you need the right. <laughs> Don't do he this. He 
has me. no right. Uh, honey, honey, look, 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 <laughs> look honey. I, no. <laughs> well, okay, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you a chance. Let's read. Let me read what she would do here. What happened when you leave the room? Unless you That's when her, you want to make sweet room, love. <laughs> I... I think... She, uh... I, th I really think she's gonna hit Charlie. Danny. <laughs> <laughs> oh sick that one hit last time <laughs> hey two <laughs> gnarly no now that you're down uh, she's gonna say get out <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my way! I need to bring this guy back in. Um. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> uh, but she critically misses. <coughs> becomes off guard until the end of her next turn. Um, but I don't know what else she's gonna do. She's she's just gonna keep hitting and missing. The Floria. That's really cool. I wonder <laughs> what that feels like. Uh, when she takes uh, some dot damage. And dies. <laughs> takes no fire damage and no cold damage. What the frick? Uh, however, she... She rolled a six two times in a row. <laughs> she will continue to take the no dot damage. Junk shot, it's your turn. What the f- I wasted a bomb for that! I'm so excited to do it. You did do damage on your regular attack. <sighs> Let's back up, Afluria. Let's get away from Charlie. <laughs> and I reload. <laughs> your spoons will do damage to him. Alright, Charlie. That is what I was worried about. <laughs> Charlie, please don't natty one. <coughs> you just go to dying three, it's fine. If he natty one, he dies. Oh, that's true. Oh! Ah, Charlie Vane! No! He's fine. You just gotta kill it. She's badly injured. You just gotta kill her. And on fire. If you if you heal him, he'll be alive again. I can't do that. Oh, you know what? I'll shoot him uh, with my uh, healing potion gun. If I load a healing potion, it'll do healing damage. That is true. Is that an option? Can I do that? Uh, well, the player can take her turn while I read your abilities. Can I get persistent healing on him for 1d6? No. <laughs> I might start shooting myself if I can do that. <laughs> oh. uh, well, you know how it goes. <laughs> Back up, fish! You hit, you hit your closest ally. <laughs> Until the end of your next turn, or uses a hostile action, your target becomes invisible. <laughs> huh. That's good. Uh... Well, you have one action left, and she's invisible. I'm going invisible to invisible uh... to him. Right? Or to everyone? No, 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 don't use that, no! I'm reading it, hold on. <laughs> oh. it, 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 heal her. it heals her <laughs> too, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, good to, that's good to know. Well, she might not get healed by it, you know? Oh, I forgot I had this. I put this up. Wait, you can't heal? So, she is undead. And this does vitality damage. 
Oh. Yeah. <gasps> I do use it. Wait, it's two actions. Never mind. Uh, did you consider walking away like your teammate said so that he can shoot his two guns? No, I step back. Uh, that, that's my turn. Charlie didn't haste me this time. I'm so fucked. You should have hasted me before you went down. I could shoot more I should bombs. Have. Oh, that, that would be really cool if I did that. Oh, I could shoot two bombs in one turn. If she's you haste me. no longer invisible oh, she because she steps shot. forward and strikes the Floria. 24 damage. Um, she just screeches. Says, what you've done. Um, look what you've done. And she points over to the bones. I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and she, she, she strikes a uh, foe again and does 18 damage. Oh my god. <laughs> and uh, jump shot. I react. How do you react? I. Wait, let's see which one's better here. This one gives me. What kind of damage is it? Do I, can I tell what she's, how she's striking me? Yeah, she's, uh, she's void striking you. Oh, I dodge away. Okay, that gives you a plus one to dodge? Yeah. Uh, you don't dodge away. <laughs> or Still <the> hit. Shot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, junk shot. Junk shot. Seeing his opportunity. Fully loaded guns. Twirls his pistol. Fainting her, immediately getting the deception check successfully. She is striking, successfully hitting the second time. And doing 13 damage and two to Malik. Wait, <laughs> not again. You'll be <laughs> fine. Did she take the fire damage she's resistant to? <laughs> um, uh, I didn't uh, apply it, but no, she did not take it. She needs to take that. <laughs> she doesn't. Um, uh, Junk Shot, give me a perception check. Okay. Really, really looking around during this battle. <laughs> That's not enough. I notice anything. I, uh, Charlie. Hero points. Using your hero points? I'm back, baby. Yes, how am I using my hero points? You just need to roll a 13 or 14. <laughs> okay, but how do I, how do I just use my hero points? That's yeah. all I want. You use them. Okay. Uh, you are now not dying. I will give you uh, hero points, give you one health. You're awake too at dying, or at wounded too. You are awake. Uh. Run, Charlie. <laughs> I'll take care of her. So is that, is that it? My turn's over, or can I Two do stuff? turn's over. Okay. Close the door. No. I can't. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. Close the door. <laughs> Floria. What did he do? Uh, healing wave, healing wave, healing wave, healing wave, healing wave, healing wave. <laughs> uh, healing wave, use healing wave, healing wave. Hold on, hold on. Give, give, make a perception check. Okay. You notice when she was pointing, you did look back for a second. At the bones. You can see there's just her hand remaining. And it is clutching a frame. 
is clutching a portrait. Burn the portrait. You look, you couldn't tell what it was, but you didn't notice it was elfish. Uh, features. Is it me? <laughs> it's me. It's me. I'm in the picture. <laughs> I could die knowing that. <laughs> what, at what level dying is he at? He's not wounded no. too. If he gets critically hit, he dies. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, no, I, I tell Junkrat, Junkshot, what I see. Not Junkrat. <laughs> I tell Junkshot that I see that hand holding the portrait. We should finish off the bones. Um, but I'm gonna try and save uh, Charlie, and so I use this torrent of blood. Um. Oh, do sick. you use it right there? Or. Yeah, I hit her too. You said it's he is like healed. quality damage. I'm just making sure. God okay, it takes away eight healed. damage and he takes eight healing. That's so unlucky, all right. Oh. Okay. She does take eight damage. And She's I... nearer death. Channel my kinetic aura. Okay, that's your turn. Yep. says she screeches out don't you dare destroy it it's all i have left of him i'm gonna destroy it i'm right here she critically misses Aphoria. Uh, what's the critical effect she takes a minus one to attack rolls until she critically hits God fucking damn. <laughs> There's 26 damage to Afluria. And uh, it's no longer taking a minus one. Um, she doesn't really have anything else to do, so she's gonna <laughs> critically, hit. critically hit again. No way. My I team's want, dead, bro. I, I want it to be known that the last time we fought her, she also critically hit me three times in a row. Like, I'm just saying. <laughs> she only critically hits you twice in a row. She critically missed the first one. Uh, but yeah. you're dying too. <laughs> Alright. Chunk. I react. <laughs> Wait, I react. The plus one, plus one to dodge. Does it still crit? Uh... Yeah. Does the plus one stop the crit? The plus one? Uh, well, you, you told me after the second hit, right? So it's gonna be on the second hit, which... No, no, that would be the first one, because it would have done it immediately. But you didn't... would have been the first You didn't tell you me know, that. But... Um, and then she hit you again. <laughs> well, she just did it too quick, you know? I was, I was still reacting to the first one. <laughs> no. <laughs> you got critically hit twice. My team is dying! No, one's only wounded. <laughs> anyway, it's your turn. Junkie. I drop my gun. It's free. It is free. I then use my uh, Ran Contour's reload to demoralize her oh. successfully as I pick up the photo. Okay. And I say, lay down your arms or everything you love is gone. Um, give me another perception check as you do that. Okay. Nah, that's I'm okay. holding it. I'm <laughs> holding it. <laughs> yeah, but you're holding it like in the midst of battle. And you're I'm like... holding it, Keaton. <laughs> in my hand. <laughs> and he immediately recognizes it's Charlie Mane. <laughs> Is it Charlie Mane? <laughs> it's... <laughs> uh -oh. Close. <laughs> 
I'll say you guys. I'll give you the information. This looks very similar to the scratched out face you saw in the laboratory. At the, um, you can see on the base, it says Valak Azrune, his name. Uh, she's in love with the assistant. She's in love with a uh, Valak. The immensely vain Valak Azrune. Um, to intimidate her, what, what did you say about it? Everything you love will be taken from you if you don't stop. Insinuating, I will be taking everything she loves. Me, an unharmed goblin. <laughs> With this menacing music, because I have the momentum now, not her. <laughs> you do. You do. Um. Okay. Where did that? Where did the information go? No. Uh. Uh. Everything you love. Um. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I don't know where this went. Oh, now I know. Um, Twenty-five to intimidate makes her frightened. Mm -hmm. And she says, no, no, I'll never stop. That's... He's all I have left. Please. I'll never stop loving him. Look, that's all I have now. Only reason I'm here. Um, do you have any actions left or is that your turn? I have a whole action left. Yeah, okay, so she says... Please, that's the only reason I'm here anymore. That's the only reason I'm, I'm even working for her. It's for him. What do you, what do you do? I, I tell her to stop attacking my friends. Get in the corner and let us be free. Otherwise, everything you love, I take. Okay, is that... Uh, I'll end oh. my turn, but if she comes to attack anyone, I'm shooting. Can um, I ready that action? You want to ready that action, or was that an attempt to coerce her? Oh, I can't coerce her, huh? Yeah, I'll coerce her. Okay, give me that uh, intimidation again. Okay. Yeah. She listens to you. She says, okay, okay, please. Please don't. Don't do anything to him. Please. I'll do what you say. Charlie, uh -huh. it's your turn. I use the third level of heal. <laughs> Third level, three action? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna freaking kill her. I just threatened her. <laughs> Wait, why is it why is it plus one? It should be plus eight. Uh, no, that's the two action that does plus eight. Yeah, this is AOE but without the plus eight. Yeah. Um if you do the two action you give plus eight to a single target. Gotcha. And another eight. Okay. Here. I'll live with it. Okay, so you do four healing for yourself. You can do that to yourself. And four damage to her. And four healing to Afluria. Uh, well, where did you place it? 
in the room. It's a 30 foot emanation. It's everybody. And okay. it heals me. Okay, yeah, everyone. I'm unharmed though, so. Okay. <laughs> it won't let me heal myself. I think it removes the dying condition if you get healed. That's uh, all it does. Well, you get the health. Yeah, you're no longer dying. You are prone, but you have four health. Uh, that was your whole turn, because that was three actions. Flaria. She is listening to Junk Shot. She's going to do what Junk Shot says. However, she's nearly dead. What do you do? Oh, when the heel goes out, she goes, ah yeah. <laughs> yeah. You are also nearly dead. I, um... That's the wrong ability. I, <laughs> I'd use this on myself. What the fuck, Big? man? Oh my god, I'm rolling so bad. Um... Freaking kill her. No, why? Wait, why? Why would you do that? <laughs> Hello? Why Honey, would you kill her? Damage. She's listening to me, and she's the one who knows all the knowledge. Why would you kill her? I don't trust her. She's gonna kill us. She was gonna murder us. She crit me twice. Charlie and I are both 1 HP. Uh, it's too risky. She disappears. We should burn the bones in the portrait. Okay, let me just roll some dice real quick. What do you do? Combat is over. Shangsha, you're holding that portrait in your hand. I'm just gonna toss it back to the ground. Okay. Actually, before I do, I want to open it up and see if there's any writing or anything on it. Open it up? Yeah, because it was in a frame you said, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I want to um, open it up, see if there's like a backside with like a letter or anything, a note. Good instincts, you get a hero point. Hog. While he's doing that, I'm looking for the uh, entrance oh. to the secret room. You should have three, yeah, okay. You get a hero point and on the back of the portrait, mm -hmm. on the on the the parchment, on the back, you see, uh, um, to my greatest admirer, treasure this forever. Uh, signed by by Valak. So this was a oh, gift. So he loved her back. Oh my God. And uh, there's... Charlie, you're a home wrecker. <laughs> <laughs> to my greatest admirer, may we may we remain beautiful for eternity. Ooh. So his whole research thing must be making everyone undead. He was researching eternal life, I guess. Yeah. I just want to, you know, learn how to make good makeup. You know. Would be, but something tells me that's not the case since the whole necromancy thing was going on here. She did remain beautiful for eternity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. You find a hidden door. Uh, junk shot, you also see that there's a key. Now that you don't have her breathing down your neck, you find there's a, there's a key uh, among the ashes. Among us? Among us. A I take the key. A tiny iron key. Uh, you take the key, do you? In your inventory. Yeah. 
Is there anywhere in here that I could recognize that that key may slot into? Well, this door opens. Do 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 do. Afloria finds a hidden door, and behind it, a door. <laughs> and behind that, a desk. A desk. In this room. A work table covered with blank scrolls and papers sits against the eastern wall of this room. Cabinet with several closed drawers stands to the north. You go, you pull on each of the cabinets. There are five locked drawers in the cabinet. Can you pick them? I use the key. <laughs> the key opens all oh. of them. <laughs> 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 well, well, well. You find several very valuable books. Copies of texts. Gloria, you should sit down and take care of those wounds. You're bleeding everywhere. Apparently, that's how they wrote in here. Yeah, yeah that's a. That's you can a write good some point. stuff. I, uh, I sit down. There's copies what do of, I find? Copies of Sorry. text here produced by scribes. Produced by probably this lady. Um, once intended for sale or as gifts to Belcar's allies in other lands, all of whom are now definitely dead. Uh, these are very valuable books. You know they'll they'll be uh, they'll sell for a good amount, or you can hand them to Morlebint, Le the the librarian in town. Um, you're sure he'd be interested in them? Um, Forgot that there was a town. I gotta lie. You've been in here for so long. <laughs> you, you've only been down here for two days. What do you mean? Um, and uh, on the desk are some scrolls. A lot of them are blank, like they're to be written on. But one of them, mm -hmm. you pick up. You recognize. Uh, I don't think you can read it. But just looking at it, you can tell. this. This looks like... Um... This looks like a contract. Oh! <gasps> ha, ha, ha. There's some signatures what? at the bottom. You can't read it, but this looks like a legally binding document. <laughs> we should go back and give him the good news. We should go back and tell him we are his contractor now. And he has to do what we say. Oh no. <laughs> Always asleep. Money doesn't make itself, bud. Free labor makes money. That's true. Um, I, that's I, all you find. I, um, how long does okay. it take him to do I that? I want to take the books then. I let everyone know that our payday is coming. How long does it take him to like do all this? I don't know, 10 Probably minutes. not very long. 10 minutes to read through some of the books and just skim them. Um, you are encumbered if you take the books. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna throw them in my backpack, and then, uh, uh, well, I guess I need to get rid of the worthless junk. So if it's ten minutes. Mm, it's pretty valuable, though. I'm gonna treat my wounds and heal myself. What else could I get rid of? Okay, I failed to treat my wounds. Fucking every time. I don't need torches. I see in the dark. Yeah. But I succeed in healing Charlie for 18. And then I also Ocean's Bomb him for 12. And I Ocean's Bomb myself for 13. And then I also cast Torrent of Blood on us both. For 22 each. 
Um, and then I, I rechannel my aura. Okay. So somehow Charlie's full HP, but I'm still not. So I need to take another 10 minutes to rest, I think. Okay. I hand um, an elixir of life to the fish. I give it to a Fluria, Elixir of Life, Minor. This is a potion, right? Yeah. Um, it's an elixir. I take it, but I don't use it yet. I'm just going to take like 10 minutes and then I'll be full HP. So. On her remains. There's a couple other items I forgot to tell you about. There's a plus one chain shirt. Light armor. If anyone wants light armor. I happen to like light armor. There's a crafter's eyepiece. Um, and there's some other treasure. The portrait of this guy is worth 10 gold. And it's there's more to her. a librarian's key. Well, we should take that with us. Um, it is a noisy auberk. What am I wearing? A leather... Plus two. This is literally what I'm wearing now, but heavier. And one more AC. Pretty good. Does anyone want that? Anyone... Mm. Anyone need light armor? Let me see my armor. Oh, I forgot I had the backfire mantle. So I had three resistance to splash damage from all chemical items. If that were to hit me. <laughs> what a coincidence, because that's exactly how much damage it would have done. <laughs> what does the armor look like? How do I to see it? It's light armor. You can see it in the remains. <laughs> Gives plus two AC. It's pretty strong. It is noisy though. Uh, plus two, plus two. It's the same as mine, even though it's plus. It's worth a lot of money too. So it's kind well, of. I don't understand what reason. it's enchanted with. It's got armor a plus one. Like... Plus just plus one armor. The potency rune, basically. Yeah. Oh, but it's the same as mine, so I, I'm good. I don't need it. I'll take it then. Yeah, take it. We might as well take it, because at the very least, we can sell it. Yeah. Okay, I assume it's been like 10 minutes more of us like wandering around. Looking around this room, so I'm going to heal again. I'm going to grab the treasure, I guess. We can split uh, that when we get back. Going to turn the blood. If we ever get back. We're lucky, dude. Never fucking lucky. And then this crafter's eyepiece. That's probably pretty good. Plus one item bonus to crafting checks when you repair an item. Dude, Who that's the good. fuck would use crafting? <laughs> Does anyone no want it? Someone's crafting in this day and age. Who's best at crafting, actually? Whoever's best at crafting should take it, I think. It's not me. Matthew, for sure. I have a it's plus nine, I think, in crafting. Probably you. Oh, it was your old character, huh? Oh, That's it's right. Charlie has more than a plus nine. He's only. Is he really? Charlie has a plus twelve, but he's only trained. I oh, it must be Vera trained. then. I don't think it's Vera. I know I. It might be, cause she's an she, alchemist. She's an alchemist. She's. She's gonna be an expert probably. Let me check. Uh, plus thirteen and an expert. I'll take it though. Yeah, I don't really care. I don't craft very often. I mean, neither do I. But... 
You guys should. It's really good. Super powerful. <laughs> you can make items. Why wouldn't you want to do that? Okay. She is sitting here. Oh, whoa. My bad. <laughs> uh, you are sitting here. Uh, full health. Your. Uh, did you do um, treat wounds, Malik? I did, yeah, and I failed on myself, but I succeeded on that. Okay, so you'll no longer be wounded. You're still wounded. So you guys have now canceled out another threat on this floor. What do you do? We go back to oh, contract, we have that contract. contract with. Yeah. Are you gonna go there next? I think so. That's reasonable. And go visit Shrek. Yeah, you want Shrek back, right? Did we ever open this door here? No, it's too dangerous to take him with us. Oh, I didn't open that. Did we ever open this door? Yes. Uh, did you grab? You didn't grab the crafter's eyepiece, did you, Matt? Oh, I thought I did. I'll, 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 I'll grab it. it. You, you should remove you. prone from yourself, Matt. Oh, yeah. No, you should. I took mine off. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna open this door because I didn't. It's not loading for me. I can't go through this door. Okay. Okay, I guess it was closed. I guess somehow, but it wasn't showing up as closed. Interesting. All right, you're in the hallway. Um, who has the contract? You do, right? You do, unless you give it, it to someone else. Okay, it's not in my inventory or anything, that's why. Oh, yeah, no, it's fine. Ah. Hey there. Ah, uh, uh, hello. Got this guy's voice. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, did did you find it? Well, does it look like this? Hey, there you go. You found it. Um, <laughs> what a coincidence. Oh, that's it. Yeah, l l let me see it. Well, um, hold on, hold on. If oh, I hand oh. it over, what happens? Well, uh, you don't read Inferno, do you? No. Uh, 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 I, do I, I? Can read it. You do not. No. Well, I'll hold it. You read it. Oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give me a little read. What is it? Oh. Oh. Out loud, maybe. Oh. oh, oh. Ikbalar mix manala. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Korlak sha. Can you translate that to goblin for me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's the goblin language? Yeah. Is it, is it, <laughs> he doesn't speak goblin. <laughs> uh, no, he just keeps reading it in Infernal because you told him to do it out loud. Um, and you're holding his contract, so he does what you say. Uh, but he reads it and he says, Oh. My service, it was, it was meant to end if 99 <laughs> weeks and 99 days passed without an order from Balakura. Whoa. Oh my god, I'm, I'm free. Happy to help. I've spent 489 too many years here. I could have left. I could have left this whole time. Oh no. Well. Well, thank, thank you, Goblin. Thank you, Azarkati. Thank you, Elf. You've, you've saved me. I'm free now. Oh, and be before I go, I, I need to give you my thanks. 
he walks up and he grabs your head and kisses your forehead. And Thank you. Appreciate <laughs> it. He says, "There's, there's others like me, others on a contract that I believe can be freed as well. There's a, there's a janitor up on the floor above. His name is uh, Zabub. Um, I'm, I don't know if you saw him, but I'm, he's, he's a very friendly guy. Uh, What's I'm he sure... look like? Oh <laughs> <Dang>, no." <laughs> We killed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you guys did kill him. Yeah, uh, I figured. Yeah, he describes the the gender that was in the room by himself. Um uh, I I can't find his picture. Um but you guys recognize him. Uh does the ghost lady have a contract too? <laughs> <laughs> He only knows the demons. He only know about her. Um, he says there's a there's a contract devil uh, on a on a lower level somewhere. I, I don't know where he, where he lives, but there's a devil named a uh, Revian down below. Revian. He's a he's a shrewd devil, but he, he he's he follows the rules. He's he's very lawful. Uh, he he always keeps his word. We run into him. Uh, he, he can be a great ally or a uh, great menace. But you, you can trust him to keep to his word. You can work with him. Revian is his name. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's, that's all I can give you, but I'm eternally grateful to you. Thank you. And he, uh, he just does a little whoop, 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 whoop. He spins and disappears uh, back to hell. I hope he's happy there. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you get Shrek back. Hey, Shrek. Shrek! <laughs> I hope you got educated well. We did promise you a bright future. Shrek, Shrek. I forget what sounds he makes. Ah! He's a Pokemon, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's been saying Shrek this whole time. <laughs> he just screeches and curls up under your, your feet. Oh, where's uh, Salvi? Did you bring Salvi with you? Um, uh, He's with Vera. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he, w- he wouldn't have wanted to fight the, the lady. He was too scared. Yeah, I figured. Okay. So, uh, I think uh, we can end it here, but I want to know what, uh, now that this floor is almost completely clear, you still, the librarian's there, but she's not doing anything. All the people that have ever harmed you, well, Ograel is also there, but he's not going to hurt you. Carmen Rajani and Doriana have descended to the floor below. Reinforcements are coming. What is your plan? What are you all thinking? What do you say to each other now? I think it's time we head down and meet with Doriana. I I want to take um, Shrek over to uh, these guys and introduce them so they could teach him. While we're gone, so we can keep Our name's Buck. His... Go, go Their names him. are Buck. <laughs> go introduce Their him names to, is Buck. To Buck, to the Bucks, and uh, have them educate him so he can get a great education while we're gone. Okay. <sighs> are you gonna Why hedge? did we tame this guy to just put him in a cage? Yeah. Your hands trick over the, the Buck. Shrek better level up while he's getting educated with these guys. Yeah, he's going to spar with Buck. Yeah, so I tell the Bucks, hey, this guy will help you guys out a lot. Please teach him well. He's really friendly and very helpful. Combat, at least an hour a day. <laughs> going to take him on his, his daily spar. <laughs> Get his bite uh, stronger. <laughs> yeah. Let him bite you. 
requirement. <laughs> you need to be able to bite through rocks. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Bug takes takes Connie to him and says, "Oh, I've never had a pet. Neither have I." Uh, and they're all they're all like, "Whoa!" He's and they not yours. And they start they start petting Shrek, and Shrek's just Rah! Shrek, and um, yeah, they're having a, they're having his a good name old Shrek, time. but his nickname <laughs> is Buck. <laughs> oh, his name is my name. <laughs> and they they just keep petting him. They they feed him some some raw meat that they have, and uh, they're having Sick. a good time. They're just holding raw meat. <laughs> <laughs> you know how bucks do. <laughs> oh, I do. I do. You're right. I forgot. Yeah, Pockets full of meat. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the raw, the rawest of meat. <laughs> um. Okay. The handshake over. Uh, what do you, uh, you guys are all agreement? You're gonna head down? I think so. Yeah, I mean, it's probably been like... We're gonna go get Vera, because she'll thing. definitely be awake. <laughs> she'll, gonna, she'll be awake know. in the next couple minutes, for sure. <laughs> uh, you're no longer wounded. And, uh, okay. All I want to know, so I can prepare, do you guys... Go down the west entrance or the east entrance? We follow. follow them. Yeah. Okay. You're going to follow them down. Uh, that way it's cleared for what they've done. You got to get it. Uh, you guys walk yourselves over there right now. So I'm ready. Um, uh, which one did they go down? The one I just pinged. I, I'm zoomed in. Oh, okay. Why didn't they take that one? All right. It's the one I'm right in front of, right? Because I saw your ping over here. Unless no. I'm missing something. We gotta go this way. Okay, I around. wasn't here for it. Gotcha. And then oh. go in here. The doors are all fucked up, so... They're all That's right, I was here. I don't know why none of this is showing for me. Yeah, because they're... Because this is where we fought the fucking... One thing, right? I don't know if you did. Remember? I remember it was here for. Oh, it might have been with the old characters. Yeah. Okay. You guys walked through there, but you didn't. Um, well, someone walked through here and looked at it and was like, oh, it's empty. Gotcha. Um, I think it was Junk Shot and Veer. Mm. Um, okay. You guys step down. Clip, clop, clip, clop down these steps. As you get about halfway down, it's like 20 feet. You can, it's it's all darkness below, but you can see a little bit of light shining underneath a, a door at the bottom of the stairwell. You get about halfway down, and you just hear ah ah. You hear Carmen Rajani screaming. Uh, east Tell them to be it careful. Ah, uh, you hear the clashing of of, of metal against flesh and bone ah! um yeah he says what what is this thing and um, it looks like there's a thing down there that they don't know what it is <laughs> what great <laughs> intuition how did you see that <laughs> I just I figured it out very clever like that. Um, okay. That's all you know. As you <laughs> head down these steps. Uh, let me add your characters. Junk shot. The flurry. Yeah. I want to just activate this new floor so we can get some new music. You don't have to keep hearing that crap for another year. Get down bottom of the steps. Um, new music. Um, What is this room? What music should play here?
Ah, I guess this works. All right. Anything terrible happened before? Yeah. Terrible happened here? Oh God. Sounds and... like something terrible happened here. Yeah, something terrible happened here. There's some maddening whispers. Um, okay, and we will end here. He has finally got out of that floor after <laughs> a year, so, almost a year of real world time. Long. <laughs> okay. I can't believe we did that so fast. Was, this is so easy. We managed to squeeze like, a whole night's rest in there and everything. That was like, been like 10 to se 12 sessions. <laughs> And there was no there. close calls in there at all, too. It was, like, really clean the whole time. Yeah, no character deaths, no wipes, for sure. No TPKs where the rules were accurate. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me save this off. And, and this, this floor is definitely going to be way easier. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. that's how it works. It only gets easier the deeper into the dungeon you go. That's the only thing in this world that I know to be true. <laughs> All right. And there with you guys hearing some screams. These are all level six. I want, while we're all here, what... Uh, I believe you were going to be a celebrity, Matt? Celebrity de dedication? Or your archetype that's what i have for um okay on my sheet for you i don't yeah. know what that means that's what i, I forgot remember too. do you remember that yeah remember us talking about it for some reason it means you want to be famous and you also have a um, never tire Uh, if you ever become fatigued and you're observed, as long as you have not, you continue to perform. Indeed, you must, you have an obligation to your fans. You delay the effects of fatigued for one minute. Whoa. As long as people Three are watching creatures you. creatures who aren't your foes, but we only ever have two. Doriana <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Thorman are down there. Yeah. Yeah, but they're about to be our foes. You don't know that. Um... You also gain the upstage reaction, which uh, a foe That's attempts really a skill good. check and doesn't get a critical success. You gain a plus one to your attack rolls, perception checks, saving throws, and skill checks. So anytime someone tries to intimidate and doesn't crit, you get a plus one to a lot of stuff. Uh, and what is level six gets you? Huh? Level six should be... You get two choices. You get mesmerizing gaze. We're feeling your oats. Both yeah. of those would have been great with this ghost. Uh, what, what do they do? Uh, feeling your oats is one action. Uh, you can do it once per hour. You are incredible and peckable an icon of style and grace, and everyone knows it. In this moment, you are living your fantasy, and no one can shake you out of it. Roll a deception check. You can substitute the result of your deception check or one will save, you would be required to attempt in the next minute. You have to do this preemptively. Um, but you can basically, you do deception instead of will save. Uh, and mesmerizing gaze is two actions. When you meet someone's gaze, you're, they are unable to look away. Choose one creature. The creature must succeed a will save or be fascinated until the end of your next turn. Uh, the DC is your class DC. Huh? What is fascinated? Uh, like how do you how do you define that is that like they're going to attack me or is that like fascinated to... means their yeah. attention is on you they take a minus two to perception and skill checks they cannot cannot use anything with the concentrate trait uh unless uh they're doing it against you and uh Can't use actions. 
You might be able to seek your mods, but you can't cast a spell. Uh, basically, they have to target you with spells. And they get a minus two to skill checks and perception. No, that one's more. My character will be that one. That one? The, fat, the yeah. mesmerizing gaze? Yeah. All right. You got mesmerizing gaze. And the straights. Mesmerizing straights. <laughs> we don't discriminate here. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Finally have your archetype. Uh, is everyone level six complete? Yeah. I am. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> Mine's done. Ethwear also needs to learn a language eventually. I know. I need to figure that out. And we are done. <laughs> Let's end this.